All right, I think we're live. What is up, guys? What's going on? Let me uh get my chapstick. Cause my lips are chappy. I'm just so chappy right now. I just woke up like I just woke up like about a few minutes ago. So don't mind the hat. I didn't really do my hair. Like having shorter hair, it takes me less time to do my hair now, which I'm you know very grateful about. But at the same time, I do like to do it specific way. And I didn't get a chance to do that, so I have this hat on. I might just take it off during the stream if I feel like it's uncomfortable in my head. Because I'm not used to wearing hats without hair now, so that I gotta get used to as well. But, I see we got some people in chat right now. Jacob Archer Koloff, what's going on, man? We have a nice little starting uh, line of people in here. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? I am... We're gonna be watching Stardom very soon. Before we do that, I am here with my good friend and... Uh, uh, also, Stardom fan, Dane. What is up, Dane? What's going on, man? What's good, homie? How What's good? What's up? What's good. Yeah, you not much, man. I know you. I know, we're, are you excited for the show? I'm excited, man. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pretty excited. There's a lot of stuff I want to see on here. I don't. I didn't get a lot of spoilers, to be honest. That's kind of good. Yeah. Shit. They didn't get too much spoil. I, I did see like some today because I think Stardom is starting to roll out. Um, they're starting to roll out some of their results on their YouTube channel now. So I I, I didn't see like spoil. I saw more spoilers of the end of the match than I have the entire match. But that's selling some. It's not all. It's, it doesn't ruin the show for me. I mean, in well, some aspects, it you know it it ruins the excitement because it's like oh I kind of he's gonna win, but like it doesn't ruin the show. So, that's true. It should go hard anyway. I mean, yeah, it's startup. Startup always goes hard. Always come through. Great town. Great town. Great town. Exactly. Exactly. But Dano Mac, um, is there? We actually did a prediction video for this show that we're about to watch right now. It's on the Tyler Mask YouTube channel. So hopefully you guys go subscribe to that channel. Uh, before we start this off, we're going to be uh, watching this from my end. I will not be, if you guys have not guessed already, you guys don't know, we're not going to be live streaming the show here. We're not going to be legally showing it. That's not what I do. That's not what I'm about. If you guys uh, want to watch the show real time, you can also always go to stardomworld.com. Uh, you can subscribe to their website. I believe it's. 9.99 yen which i think equates to like eight something in the u.s there's also ways to watch it online which i'll not advertise here but you can always find those way to watch it online for those of you who are gonna be watching it with us we'll be starting off in just uh, a minute and a half like 90 seconds uh dane are you actually on, i guess i probably should screen share on discord that way you can see it i'm on there right now but oh you're on the website yeah Alright, right, cool. I haven't started yet either. Juan well, Mena, what's going on, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, let me see if I can find y'all a quick little linky link. If I can find a quick little linky link for you guys, I'll I'll drop it in our Discord chat, and then if you guys are part of the Discord chat, you can watch it from there. Let's see if I can find one for you guys. Yeah, I don't know if I see one. I don't think I see one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't see anymore. one online right now, so I think it might just be for people who are watching live right now can watch it. I mean, who actually have Stardom World can watch it right now. What's going on, that dude? This is a prostate part. Oh my god, we're never gonna live that one down, huh? What? <laughs> Not gonna live that one. Yes, yeah, see, see what you do. No, uh, basically, one of my uh, subscribers yesterday, their phone autocorrected private party to prostate party. So now, every time people say private party, we got to say prostate party now, which is a conundrum in itself because now people enter in our chat and don't know the context behind it. They're going to be like, why the hell is everyone saying prostate party? But that's what comes with the community, right? <laughs> So everyone, we're going to be starting off this stream, uh, we're going to be starting off the stardom stream in just a few moments, the show is 2 hours and 41 minutes, so we will be watching this pretty much for the next uh, 3 hours, uh, but I'm really excited, right. I'm going to be hitting play in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, play.
Yeah. Oh yeah, Jones. Saya, 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 tall Saya. Yeah, I'm happy for uh, Saya Hida though. She has um, she's the future star champion. Oh, we're starting off with that match. Yay, Unagi. Today is my second singles match. Yeah, think about that. This is her second singles match in stardom, and she's competing for the future stardom championship. Um. Yeah, big big spot for her. I mean, I don't really feel like I've seen enough of her to see if she's going to be good or not. I may be inexperienced. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think, you know what? Let me go to cage match and see how much experience she has in the ring. Because I heard she's an ex she's not very... I heard she's newer than Saya is. And I know Saya's been wrestling for two years. So if she's newer than Saya, then she's only been wrestling for one year. Let me see. Cage match, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, we gotta do the cage match, yeah. Unagi. That's my. Cagematch.net is my new favorite website. Like, I swear to God. Yeah, I go there all the time. Unagi um, Sayaka. She began her in ring career on January 4th, 2019. So I think her and Saida started wrestling around the same time. Because Saida started wrestling. Hold on. Saya. I forgot Saida's with two eyes. Yeah, Saida started wrestling on the 14th of January, so technically... <laughs> so technically, Unagi is more experienced by 10 whole days. 10 whole days, Dave. Mm-hmm. 10 whole days. 10 whole days. But here she is, guys. Unagi Sayaka. Of... Hey, there's Mina! I think she, um... What? I, I don't know if she broke her nose, but I think she had like a, some type of face injury, and that's why she's out right now. What titles do you have? Who, Saida? No, this this chick. Oh, she's the uh, artist of Stardom Champions with uh, Tom Nakano Amina. Thought you knew that. Uh, dude, I don't watch the smaller weird shows where they just throw tag team matches and trios. I understand, I understand I that. But... It was a simple mistake. I was... Hey, who I made it? We're not, we're not laughing at you, man. We're laughing with you. We're laughing with you. I got, I got that opinion that that fucking girl on cinema has, where it's like trios matches are really fucking boring to me. Like most of the time, they're still good see. Matches, yeah, but... I'm not. I, I agree to an extent. I think if you watch a lot of Japanese wrestling, it can get very boring because. It's almost nothing, especially if you watch New Japan, where it's nothing but trios matches on the show. I can understand that sentiment, but but I think if you catch it at a good time, like if we were back in the Lucha Underground days when you know trios matches were actually good, then I could actually I would disagree with that statement. But nowadays, trios matches are either chaotic as hell or formulaic as hell. So I I, I can agree with that to an extent. Like. Lucha Underground, in my opinion, is the only company who's done trios matches right. AEW, they do the trios matches right from time to time, but Lucha Underground got it right like every week. What's up? Shikara has some good trios matches. Shikara? Shikara? I, I, haven't wa I haven't watched enough Shikara to really put them in my conversation. I don't watch enough Shikara. Really? Yeah, well, man, it'll beat yourself up about it. It's a, it's a, we're, we're, uh, it's a joke now. It's a meme. It's a meme. It's a meme. Uh, it's a hot commodity now. Token Rockstar says I hate trios matches. You there hate them. Go. Yeah. You're on. You're on to something. <laughs> they're really not good. All right, Dane. When we did our predictions for the show, I think we both predicted it was gonna be Saida. We did all the same except for like. Except for the, I believe, except for the uh, tag match. It was the only. Uh, yeah. The only different what who did you say was gonna win? Because I'm pretty sure I said it, my prediction was um I think mine was Dino Del Mundo. It was Hameka and Siori. Mine was Saya and somebody else. Momo? Is that who she Saya and Momo, yeah. Yeah. I won't be surprised if Saya Momo win. I mean I'm not I would be a bad either, because I like them both, so. Didn't Shikar fold or something? I don't know, did they did they go under uh, they went under because the guy got accused of a lot of stuff. Not like sexual assault or anything, but incompetence, I guess you'd yeah, call it. Yeah, yeah.
because a lot of that stuff was going on under him, and it, I guess it was a bad look for him, and he kind of got cancelled for it, but yeah, it, it folded. Yeah. Sad. But guys, we start off with our first match of the of the day. Saida versus Unagi Sayaka. Huh. <sighs> So I, I would say that uh, of the stardom shows I've seen so far, I've we've been watching some pretty good stardom shows. The last one we saw was the Osaka Dream Cinderella show. That was a really good show. That was really good. I wanted Alejandro to watch it. Yeah, and then the Sendai Cinderella show was also really good. So hopefully this one lives up to it. Saida has been killing it on both shows. So we'll see what she can do against someone who is on her level because... Micah, I, I don't know how long Micah's been wrestling, but Micah's pretty good. I think Micah probably has been doing this slightly longer than Saida has. And then her previous opponent was Saida, was Sa Micah and Sai Kamatani, which is a triple threat. Really fun match. But I don't know. I haven't seen much of Unagi, so we'll see. Chris O'Brien, new name in here. Saida is a Reptar, changed my mind. I am Reptar, hear me roar. I am Reptar, hear me roar. Yes. Yes. I don't, I, I don't know about Reptar straight up. I guess with the gear, she could be Reptar, but I thought her gimmick is that she's a gorilla. Who called her a gorilla? Wasn't that Julia who called her a gorilla? I think it was Julia who called her a gorilla. I, I'm happy to see she embraced the gimmick. Trio's matches are alright. I get Japanese promotions do them, though. Why they do them, though. Too many singles matches for regular shows takes away the importance of the matchup. Yeah, like I said, I get why they do them as well. Uh... I just think they're like overdone to death a lot. Singles, singles and tags, that's the best. The trios is where it's like you're, you're throwing too many people in the ring at once. I would argue that trios is fine if there if there is some scarcity. Um, it's the four man, five man, six man tags that we see on AEW every week. That's when I, that's when I lose my mind. Six man I could deal with. And I think that's because I've been watching New Japan long enough that six mans are kind of like acquainted with me, you know? Yeah, I, I just don't like them. I, I mean, I would, if I was a promoter, I would have to, I guess, do trios because it's like, you want to get everyone on the show. You don't want people to. Well, that, and like that dude said, you don't want to overrun your car with a bunch of singles matches because then you kind of do everything early and you ruin the stigma of the matches. So that also that's comes true. into account. I think that's what promos are for, honestly. Like, you wouldn't put them against their Ooh, rival okay. right away. Nice scoop yeah. slam there from Unagi. I mean, you don't want to overload your show promos, too, though. But I guess that, it depends on, I guess, the uh, the culture. Because if you're a North American promotion, then that's fine. But if you're in Japan, then obviously you're not going to overload your show promos because they focus on in-ring action more than I do the uh, characters. You do, that is true. So guys, don't don't um, uh, if we're not talking too much, it's because we literally just woke up. <laughs> like I woke up. I, I really like um a lot of like Japanese theme promotions, but I'm, I'm more of a character guy, so it's kind of weird. I mean, it's it's. I think it's just your North American mindset. We both grew up on North American wrestling, so we all. I think not just you. Like we all love a good I character. We love a good story. I've always watched wrestling for the characters, I'll be honest. Yeah, for the stories, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think that's the sole reason I watch wrestling, but story is a very vital part of it. So I think if we're watching Wrestler A versus Wrestler B every week and there's no story, I probably would get disinterested very quickly. So yeah, I do agree with you on that, on that at least. Like, at least with this match, you can say they're kind of a story because... Cosmic Angels, like Unagi's part of Cosmic Angels, and Saeed's part of Stars, and they have a storyline going on, so there's a story there. But if you didn't know that, it's just Wrestler A versus Wrestler B, and you have no reason to get invested in inside of it, inside of that match. For real, that's why Japanese promotions tournaments feel more prestigious. We don't get way too many singles matches in a year. Exactly! That's why when you get your G1 Climaxes and your New Japan Cups, it goes crazy. Eh, hey, Saeed! He's going yeah, wild, man. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do stuff, though, so I guess that's the thing. I mean, All Japan's really cool. That's why I like that uh, that one dude, the, 
uh, you talk to covers like all Japan and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's jo- jo- is Joseph do that? That's Joseph that covers all Japan, like old yeah. all Japan, nineteen nineties, nineteen eighties all Japan. Yeah, all Japan is really they got some good shit. Exactly. Sayid is at the top rope. Missile drop. Oh, she missed it. Ooh, ooh. She could have went for a lot of Maji's draw pin right there. She had a good opening for it. She'll get better, though. But anybody in the oh. chat, are you guys watching this live with us? Are you guys watching the show? Or are you just here yeah. to chat? Uh, are you what? vibing or are you watching? Are you vibing or watching? Or are you doing both? Are you vibing and watching? Yeah, you can do both. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Like uh, that guy from Celebrity Deathmatch. I have not watched Celebrity yeah. Deathmatch in years, bro. I yeah, feel like I'm one of these it. days, I'm, 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 we're going to watch Celebrity Deathmatch on stream. Yeah, we got to review it. We got to we gotta review Celebrity Deathmatch as we would any other wrestling show. That sounds like a really, really fun to do. Just here to chat. That dude's in here vibing. I appreciate you for coming through, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Saeed is getting angry. You ain't gonna like Saeed cool. when she's angry. He's wearing the whole... Oh, okay. Wearing a green. So she is both Reptar and the Hulk. Oh, there's the beefy one. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Just chatting. Just chatting. Hulk Hogan and uh, Reptar. Whoa, Hulk Hogan. No, I said the Hulk. No, Hulk Hogan. I said the Hulk. That's what I said. No, I don't think Saeed is racist, so no, I would go with just the Hulk. I hope she's not racist. She doesn't strike me as one. And plus, I don't think Hulk Hulk Hogan would like Saeed. She's too small. Hulk Hogan's like, she needs to be 6 foot 10 and uh, 800 pounds, brother. I'm going to stop you there. Dude, Saeed Sa- Sa- is totally the tallest on her roster. You just Did- you're not paying attention. Okay, am I? May- may- <laughs> maybe we're maybe we're all just short, and we think Saeed. Sa- okay, whatever. Yeah, it's one of those things. Where it's like people think she's short, but she's it's, actually really tall. It's four over here in Cali, but I be sleeping mad late anyway, so I don't have school for another week. So I'm tired. Bro, you're up at 4 a.m. Are prostate party wrestling on this? Uh, Lord, I, I don't think, I don't think PP's on here. No, I don't think so. Yeah, and if Saida is anything like Hulk Hogan, I hope, I really hope they're not. <laughs> I don't want to see that confrontation. Saida might beat their ass, and that wouldn't be a good look. Black Hair Steamrump is literally right around the corner. Wait, Unaga's at the top rope. Top rope, top rope, top frog rope. splash wasn't the best frog splash. One, wait, one, two. And I can lie, this is probably the weakest Saeeda match I've seen of the lineup she's had so far. Still a better frog splash than Sasha, right? Why do you hate this woman so much? I guess we gotta. I guess now that you said, we gotta say it in the chat. So, guys, in the chat. If Dane takes any shots at Sasha Banks, it's because he hates her. I don't know why he hates her. I, I have I've never known why he, I mean I know why he hates her, but this hatred's going on for the past like five years. I never understood it. She, she can't wrestle, dude. I've never understood it. In the five years, in the well now six years I've known this man seven really almost. I've no I never known why he dislikes Sasha Banks so much. It's crazy thing we know each other for seven years. It's crazy. Oh, Spy Buster. Hi, what hey what's up, Roy Lay Long? What happened on Twitter? Okay, uh, so this guy had his YouTube channel. It's going to be deleted, and really all because of uh, TVSIE. So just trying to help him out right now. That's all it is right now. That's all it is. Just trying to help a brother out because I've been in the same position before. Fighting a war against TVSIE. Dude, it was a long, long, long war. So. I hope he's prepared because he's about to be in a long battle. I mean, now, it could be case to case. He could have a very uh, short battle, but if it's anything like mine, he's going to have a long fucking battle. I feel for the guy, though. I feel for the guy. I think I created some monsters with prostate. Yeah, you did, man. Never going to live it down. Wait, Saida, she's got a bully choke locked in. 
Unagi's out. Killer. Unagi yeah. out. Gone. Come on, Unagi. Come on. Come on. She's oh. getting up. Oh, she's doing the Hulk Hogan spot where the arm drops. When the comes, grabs oh. it down and it hurts inside. As much as I detest Hulk Hogan, I still love his theme song. One of the greatest theme songs in all professional wrestling. Just hate that it's attached to such a. Oof. Yeah, I don't know why I'm cheering. Uh, I mean, I'm cheering for Unagi because I love Cosmic Angels, but like Saida, I want her to retain. Apparently, the Spanish channel with 360k is getting deleted. I saw it on Reddit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for all of you who are in chat right now wondering, because his fans were blowing my shit up yesterday. I mean. I, my notifications, my DMs, it was overwhelming, man. Like, it was, I mean, I'm happy to see he has supporters, but, like, dang. Uh, for all of you, any of you watching this, let me just say right here, right now, I am in conversation with him. We have been talking, we, we've only been talking for, like, a good solid, like, few minutes, maybe an hour. But, um, working with him. I'm working with him. You don't have to hit me up on my DM and ask if I can help. We're, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. That's all I can say oh. right now, though. It's over. Yep, Saida won the match. Did she hit the brainbuster? She hit like almost like a weird, I think it was middle rope kind of brainbuster thing. I missed I it. Know. She was like on the middle rope and she jumped and she like spiked their head into the thing. It kind of looked like a brainbuster, but I don't. I, I don't know. I missed the old chat back when Whaley Long and Villa and I were running the chat. Hey, man, listen. Villa's probably will show up sometime in the near future. I mean, I'm, it's in the morning, so I don't know if Villa is going to be in here. Villa's probably stop by. He used to stop by on my Twitch streams. It's not like he forgot about us. Probably just busy. Whaley Long is here, though. Golden times they were, I assume. I mean, it's still the same chat. It's still the same chat. But Saida retaining the future startup championship. I would say definitely the, one of the weaker Saida matches I've seen well. And, and I don't think she's like this great phenomenal wrestler or anything. But of the last the four shows I've seen, this is probably the weakest one I've seen of hers. But I, I would say part of that's probably Unagi. <laughs> I don't know, Dane. Have you, have you, Diamond Dust is her finisher name. Have you formed an opinion on Unagi yet? Uh, not really. I don't, again, I also don't know a lot about her. Um, I don't know. I think she can improve, but I don't, I don't know if that's her fault or the promotion she comes from, you know? Could be, could be, could be both. I don't know. Uh, Otis she, Beefy one I'm, says, am I your best Scottish fan? Well, I don't know too many other Scottish fans. So I would say so. Now we got Otis and that dude creating the new golden era. The prostate party air. <laughs> We're just gonna keep on saying, "Yeah, Natsu Poi." We're getting ready for the Natsu Poi Konami match. I'm actually excited for this one. Go on to win the tag belts on January the thirtieth. You know what? I'm yeah. here for Natsu Poi and Hameka winning the tag belts. Hey, but nothing from Konami. No. Natsu Poi is your new favorite wrestler. No, I, I mean I I liked her last two matches. So now, now you're now I, you're feeling it. You, I'm fe I'm fe I'm vibing with her. I'm vibing with her. I like the last few matches. Konami's really good. Konami is a descendant of Asuka. And you know Asuka's my favorite, so I don't think this is gonna be really good. Is Asuka is Asuka your favorite Yoshi ever? Ever? Yeah, I, I, I think you yeah. I can think I, I can think I can make an argument forever. I mean, Asuka's, Asuka's definitely, like, my top three favorite, so I guess you could say that, then. It's like, it's like I tell people, I mean, it, I, I don't agree, but it's not... Like, I don't I don't even categorize Asuka as my favorite Joshi. I categorize Asuka as, like, one of my favorite wrestlers, period. So, I guess it's... I put her I put her in a different classification. Like, I not saying she's not a Joshi wrestler, but, like, her. she's just, in general, one of my favorite wrestlers, so... Top ten. <laughs> well, if we're talking female, she's in my top five. But if we're talking uh, like, if we're talking men and women, she's in my top ten definitely. Konami, 
It's sad to know that she is currently holding the, that championship alongside B and not Jungle Kiona. That upsets me. Yeah. yeah the best upset. gay couple in stardom are split up, and that really upsets me. They're not really a gay couple, but they, they might as well have been. Uh, <laughs> Otis Beefy One, have you heard of Grado and Joe Hendry? Eh, Gato and Joe Hendry. Grado, not Gato. Ren Narita is on uh, strong on Friday. I heard. I'll be watching it for Ren Narita. I'll be watching it. I forgot who he's wrestling. He's wrestling somebody in a singles match. Be tuning in for him. I don't know what's happening with Shota. I don't know if Shota's still in the UK or what, but hopefully we get Shota back very soon. Bateman? Tyler Bateman? I heard Tyler Bateman. Oh, he's wrestling Tyler Bateman. Is he wrestling Tyler Bateman? Or is it another guy who's by the name of Bateman? Let me see. Let me see. Who is, who is Ren Ren wrestling? Let me go to Twitter. Who is oh. Ren Narita wrestling? Just the guy named... Is his, his name is just Bateman? I don't know. Let's see. Da, 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 da. NJPW USA. Boy, yeah. Well, she did that little Dana Brooke flip thing that Dana <laughs> Brooke used to do. In her I'm not your enemy. You know what I'm talking about? That little flip. Yeah, thing of doing? course. It's it's a trademark Dana Brooke move, man. Of course, I know what you're talking about. His custom theme songs were gold back in the day. Joe Hendry did those weird, like, parody. Oh, you know about Joe Hendry, either. Who, me? Yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not familiar with him, so I can't really, uh... I only knew about him from, uh, WCPW. Like, the What Culture thing. Hmm. It's the same reason I know about, uh... Is it Tegan Knox That used to be, uh... Yeah, Tegan Knox. What? what was her name beforehand? She had a name beforehand. Wow. Uh, Nick Nick the Newell, right? Yeah, uh it was uh yeah, Nixon it was Newell. definitely Nick Nixon Newell, yeah. Yeah. She used to do the Canadian Destroyer in WCPW. Did you hear people on Reddit once you cancel Shooter for not showing up on Rev Pro matches? Well that's definitely new. Oh look at look at look at her! Look at oh oh Wait, kick, no. Oh, Carter. See, already, Dane. Already, I know we're about to have a banger here. Yeah, that's good. Sliding kick. Oh, look, she's selling. Hold on. A little bit of oversell there, but selling nonetheless. <laughs> I like selling. She should stars. take notes. Will Osprey should take notes. <laughs> no, Ricochet should learn how to fucking sell, too. Oh, wow, you don't hate a Ricochet, too? This is the Dane hate train, like Sasha Banks and Ricochet. Like... I don't hate Ricochet the person. I'm sure Ricochet the person's a great person. I'm not so sure about Sasha Banks, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure Ricochet's a good guy, and I want to like him, but I just hate his wrestling style. I can't. He does some cool things, but... I thought his match with AJ Styles and Raw was good. I liked the finish, and there's some good stuff there, but... Yeah, yeah. He is a I national he hero here. Him. Joe Hendry is a national hero. I bet he is. Tyler, check out some Joe Hendry entrances in your free time. I'll have to. Uh, our Discord chat. Go to the exchange and link me to some um, Joe Hendry entrances. I'll have to watch them. Right, also, I saw uh, yesterday on Twitter. Apparently, I don't know if you saw this day. I thought this was hilarious. I have to do a video on it because I think it's so funny. Uh, uh, somebody asked uh, Dave Meltzer... Who is the modern day Eddie Guerrero? And this dude said Will Ospreay. I almost fucking Did shat really? myself. I was laughing so hard. Yes, he said Osprey is the modern day Eddie Guerrero. Like I don't even I don't even know where to start with how the hell he got that comparison. I don't know either. Don't even know where to start. I mean 
Who was it that said that thing that everyone got mad at? Seth Rollins? Seth Rollins was right when he said they got the better version of uh, Will Ospreay in WWE when he was talking about Ricochet. Dude, the better version of Will Ospreay in WWE. Um, I don't know. I, I think I would. I think if you gave me a choice between a Ricochet match or a Will Ospreay match, I think I would probably rather watch a Will Ospreay match, but I think they're both talented and all right. They're both really good. I disagree. I think Ricochet is better. I think uh, well, uh, I think Ricochet is capable of doing more athletic things, but I think Will Ospreay is capable of putting on better matches. I'll put it that way. Stop, stop, stop the chest. Stop. The modern stop. Eddie Guerrero is Sammy Guevara or Angel Garza. You can make that compare, but Will Ospreay? It's like, where did you get that comparison? I just where Andrade would probably be mine. Like, like even Andrade. even if you're trying to compare them, like by like in ring or something else, a lot like outside of their culture and their race. Okay, let's let's say he's talking outside of comparing another Mexican to Eddie Guerrero. Where do you even see the similarities between Will Ospreay and Eddie Guerrero? That's where I'm confused at. I mean, they don't really wrestle like. That's why I'm. One that's of, why I'm so confused by his one by of, his one comment. One of them's good, and then the other one's Will Ospreay. <laughs> well, good's an understatement. One of them's great, because Eddie Guerrero. Let's be honest, Eddie Guerrero is great. We Eddie Guerrero was outstanding. Word. We don't use that word a lot around here, at least. No, I you don't. don't. You 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 but, like to undermine everything. So. But Eddie Guerrero actually is great. Like I ain't even gonna cap. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie to you. To tell you, he's not one of the the goats. Yeah. If I if when I put together lists, if I ever do, he's always in the the goat category, bro. Like, absolutely. Oh oh oh! Did you see that? Cat that to an armbar. I'm about to steal that. Armbar. I'm about to steal that for Map East Combat yeah, someday. I'm about to steal it. Oh armbar, armbar. Up oh, on the rope. Definitely the high speed match. I think a lot of people were waiting to see. What Fisherman! Oh, damn, okay. Why do they not count the foot under the roof? Because I think her foot... The triangle Lancer! Oh, she's trying for the Triangle Lancer. Natsu Poi is really uh, nimble. She's, like, really good at rolling out of this. One. Two. She's been really good at getting, like, countering these moves. I think it's because she's so small and so fast. Ooh. Oh, wait! Oh, roll through! Pit! One! Two! Ah, she kicks out. Comments are going by so fast right now. People hate our Mexican Lucha Libre wrestling too much without them. There being no wrestling today. Yeah, I, I don't understand the hate for it. Uh, Angel Garza is closer to Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, I guess you can make that comparison. We all miss Lucha Underground. Yes, I do. My only, my only problem with... Uh, oh! Oh my god. Is they're all like fucking 60 to 70 years old. And they all like botch a lot. And it's just like... Come on, you can like change your style up. You're, you're getting a little older. Thoughts on the Osmi match? I haven't, I'm not there yet. We're we're the Osmi match is next, but I'm sure yeah, it kicks I'm ass. Not, yeah. I'm sure it kicks ass. Osmi right. is the best wrestler of all time. So, uh, Otis the beefy one, heel injury sucked in ICW. <laughs> I'm glad more people start watching AAA. I have not seen much AAA, but I do uh, plan to watch some more this year at some point. If I don't watch more this month, because January is usually the month I try to watch as much wrestling as possible. I'll definitely try to put it on my list when I have the next big show. I had a cousin that wrestled for AAA. Really? What was his name? Mil Moretas is back though. Yes, Mil Mor is he back in uh, AAA too, or is he just back in uh, MLW? Wait, Triangle. Oh, Triangle Lancer. Damn, she is just getting out of this every chance she gets. Ma La Matistra, La Matistra. Oh, 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 rolling, rolling, rolling. One, two. Oh shit! Damn, got her, caught her. She ain't getting out of this one day. I think it's over. I think it's over. She sat on her. She's sitting on her. It's over. It's over. Oh wait, she's trying to reach. Oh, come on, not too poor. Reach, reach, girl, reach. She, her, she, she's small though. She ain't gonna be able to reach it. Oh, double arms! Ah! Oh. Use your foot! Use your foot! Use your foot! Use your foot! She's too small. Ah, there we go. There we go. Nah, yeah. ah, that was a good sequence. I like that. 
Hey, let go, let go, let go. Are you crazy? Yeah, don't do a DQ. Damn. Okay, Konami. No! Boo! <laughs> Boo! Where's DDM? Where's DDM? They're not even, they're not even trying. Damn, this is ratchet. Oh, this is court boo. How does that hold on? How does the chair around her? Because she's using a chair. It still counts as DQ. Boo. That was a good oh. match. That was. A, no, that was... How, does it, how does that add to this submission? Is what I'm saying. Because she's not touching the. Chair it's, it doesn't. I mean, chair. that was good up until the finish. I'm like, really? Y'all really, y'all really couldn't have them lose this match. This is why I, I kind of hate when starting books DDM matches, because it's like they can't lose. They can't lose. Like, y'all really just couldn't have homegirl, like, pass out or something? Really? She had to lose by DQ? If the match was, like, subpar okay, I wouldn't have even, like, well, I would have been okay with it. DQ. But, like, this is a good she match no, that was sold by, by the finish. She won by DQ. I, I don't understand she won by... That's... It's like... It's like, I guess they wanted to protect both women, but it's like, really? Really? That means we were both right, cause not. She still won, oh, but like, damn. She won. Yeah. Cause now she's gonna get the tag title match, and I'm like, she didn't even pin her though. Hey, it's Kayota Yoniyama. This is literally my first time seeing her outside of the, um, outside of the uh, Goku Jean Death gimmick or the uh, Death Yamasan gimmick. Look at she looks so happy. Yeah, Azumi, Azumi, Azumi. Azumi. Yeah. Bow down to the queen. The ZSJ of stardom. I, I guess you could say Konami is similar to ZSJ. Not 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 entirely though. Not entirely. Hio de Pero Irguayo. Oh, that was your cousin? Wow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, man. Yeah, he's the one who passed away, right? In the I think it was the Rey Mysterio match. No, I'm sorry to hear about that. Wait, I haven't seen many of his matches. Huh? Say Paraboro Jr. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Why has Tom Matanga cut his hair? I don't know, but I mean, he looks younger with his haircut. Guys, I'm so excited. We are getting ready for the next match. It's Kaori. Kaori. How do you say the name? Kaori. Uh, it's uh Kari. Kari Yoniyama. Yeah. I've never seen a wrestle outside of the Goku Jean Death of Death Yamasan gimmick, but I'm excited to see what she can do. And someone in the comment section asked if we've seen the match. I'm assuming it's good. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I hope it's good. Like I said, I, I, I like her work a lot. Like, when they had they had a singles match on the Sendai show, it was Goku Jean versus uh, Azumi. That was that was fairly good. I would say probably say more decent than good, but... Bow down to the queen. Yeah! yeah! We stand Ozzy in this chat. It said that they faced they faced off when uh, she was like uh, really early on too. Like Ozzy is just started. Ben Grimshaw says that uh, she trained Ozzy. That's definitely I, a fun I fact I didn't know. Well, that's the case. Then the the, the uh, you, I think you got it mixed up. I think you mean Ozzy trained Yoniyama. I think you got it mixed up, buddy. Yeah, Yoniyama has been around forever. She's been wrestling since like JWP, and she had that retirement ceremony where she pissed everybody off because she didn't retire. <laughs> she asked if she could still wrestle, and then Emi Sakura tried to like kick her in the leg multiple times afterwards because she was pissed, and everyone was like mad at Emi. Azumi, yeah. Azumi's our new super chat. Uh, she's our new uh, super chat thing. So if any of you guys send a super chat or want to send a super chat, you guys will get Azumi. You'll be graced by the queen herself. Or if you send like a specific super chat, there are some specific super chats left. I had to delete some because a lot of them involved the AW New Japan. But <laughs> New Japan. Yeah, New Japan. <laughs> More like. Who Japan? <laughs> Think of it. Uh, do wrestler. I need to. Yeah, we see. We have some guys in here that uh, either want to be or want to be wrestlers. So, 
Yeah, oh, but look at Azumi giving this rookie her uh, time to shine with that handshake. You love to see it, Dane. If I was in better shape, I'd want at least wrestle one match. Oh, look Look at the high speed right there. Look at the speed of Azumi. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. I see the takedown. Oh. How old is, how old is Oniyama? Like, I think like 48. 48? Something like that. God damn. Definitely doesn't look it. She's old. I mean, I could I could believe it, but she definitely doesn't look it. Especially the way she's in there performing. She's going faster than some 48-year-old men, I say. Oh, my God. That back bump she took on apron. Jesus Christ. Oh, what do you need? Well, I'm 13 probably when I'm 16. Hey, listen, man. Uh, some wrestlers started training when they were young. Azumi started training when she was like, what? Like, 9, 10? I was, I was, I was off. I was, she's, she's 39. She's almost 40. Yeah, I say 48. I mean, damn. I don't know. Try to to the back. I yeah, I don't know where you pull 48 out from. Like, she definitely wrestles know. like... She's, 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 she's 39. All right. She's almost 40. She's almost 40. I, I aged this woman up so much. Yeah, you you aged her up by a whole, like, nine years, bro. Total disrespect. Yeah. When uh, Jericho went to heart training on Keith was there one day. Put the, put the, put the age up a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. A little bit. Keep up a little bit. I saw a guy, Joker, Joker Persona comment in the chat was Io Shirai versus Kyrie Hojo the best rivalry in stardom it's a legacy rivalry absolutely um best rivalry you can make an argument for that you can also make an argument for uh Mayu and Neo or Mayu and um you can make I an argument for a lot that. of feuds but that's that's I definitely a legacy that. feud yeah I like I like Mayu and uh Io like the matches I've seen yeah but I don't I, I don't know everything from it so I can't say it's the best but it's probably one of the best ones i've seen most of like i said i, I think it's definitely a legacy feud i don't know the history of stardom that well i mean True. oh shit things about it that i've heard but do you see that run on ddt yeah that was good good shit yeah i was gonna be yeah. winning this match it's over it's over just dropped her on her head dude that that's gonna kill somebody foot stop one two and it's over. Oh! Into the arm bar. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, she rolls through. Kick to the head. There we go. I can't find this show anywhere. I don't think it's accessible online anywhere right now. Except Stardom World. Stardom World's the only place you can find this show at the moment, at least. It seems, if it, it seems like. Has on the top. Arm on the top. Oh! What the hell was that? Into okay, that was that was different. Into the arm bar. Ozmi for Cinderella. I would definitely love to see Ozmi win the Cinderella tournament. I don't think she will, but I would love to see her win the Cinderella tournament. Foot on the rope. We get Ozmi versus uh versus uh Yutami. That'd be ooh, that would kick so much ass. I feel like they definitely want to do that match at some point soon. Ozmi and uh Yutami. I mean, obviously, Yutami would win if she's still the champion. I definitely feel like, oh, I definitely do feel like now more than ever to start a position, uh, Yutami as the ace. Because if you notice, Mayu's kind of stepped down a bit. Like, she's not lower card or anything, but she's definitely still not in the main event uh, the way she would be if she was the champion. They've definitely been propositioning um, Yutami a lot Yutami more. Would be the ace. And, you know, dessert, as they should, as they should. You definitely should be pushing Mayu in that spot if she's not the champion. So, that's good. Wait, oh, roll through. One, two. Kick out. Oh, wait, Crucifix. is going to have to have a oh, time wait, uh, where one. Not quite the main match with all the rule-ups, but Lamaji Straw, no? One, two. Damn, she had her foot on the rope. Good thing the referee didn't count that. Yeah. Dude, her foot was on the rope. You're right. I don't know what the fuck that was about. 
Oh, kick to the head. Come on, Azumi. God damn. Put her down with the arm bar. Tap, tap, tap. She found her targeting spot and she's going for it. I like Prostate Party's new Colgate toothpaste gear. The blue and the blue and red, eh, a little bit too bright for me. It's a little, it was a little too loud for me personally. She got the leg too. Got the leg and the arm. Oh, and she got the face all locked up too. There we go. Tap, tap. She taps. Another one for the big girl. Another one for the queen. Oh, I, thought they, I thought it could have been more longer, but... Yeah, it definitely could have waited a bit longer. That was definitely a shorter match, but... But, but I, I think... I think you... I think you could at least see a little bit of improvement of her outside her, like, gimmick. Like, though, Kari Oniyama, like, you could see that, like, she's not spending time taunting every fucking two seconds. Like, she's, like, at least more involved in the match. I mean, I don't know exactly how much more I, of Yoniyama we're gonna see, though. Yeah. There's oh wait! Ah! <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> no Death so <laughs> She got the she got possessed by Death Yamasa for a second. Oh my god, that was kind of crazy. She does that. She does that during taunts or not during taunts during like submissions and stuff too. But, but she didn't do it in this match. That was too funny. Just stomped yeah, on her yeah. foot like, yeah, and then we'll ran away. That was too funny. But Ozumi is still your high-speed champion. Bow down to the queen. Damn. There's a match I saw of, I think it was in Shikara, where they were trying to, like, I don't, I don't know. It was, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I defend it for the fourth time. Yeah, and you'll defend 14 more times. I felt you on yama -san. I beat my senior, and I can say I am number one in high speed. Yes, it's time to go for the red strap, Azumi. It's not, it's not time yet. It she is time, it. damn it. She's got to belts. She's gotta get rid of No, it. she'll be Azumi two belts. She'll model after Kotobushi. The value of this belt has doubled since yama -san held it. You're damn right. You're damn right, it's doubled. I'm still raising the value of this belt. Does anyone want to challenge for me March 3rd, Nippon Budokan? Ooh, what if, uh, what if Starlight comes out? We get the 18th rematch. Even though the rematch is all good. Who challenges for it, Daniel? Who do you think challenges? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. <gasps> is that Nazi boy? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> we were just talking about this! Yeah, yes! Yeah, you that. Yes! You said yes! That yes! Your prediction. Yes! 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 <laughs> I'm the only one suitable to face you on Mars the third. Yes! Yes, bro. I am I am super stoked for this. This is gonna kick Thank so much you. ass. During prediction show, this is what you said you wanted to see. Yes, it was. This is gonna kick so much ass. Oh my god. Oh, she's officially signed to stardom too. Let's go. Oh. Stardom just got a quality talent. Let me challenge for the belt. Azumi, except this is like the queen versus the princess. Wanna be princess. Congratulations yeah, on yeah. joining, but just because you joined does not mean you qualify to challenge me. Boo! 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 Accept the challenge, don't... don't yeah. It's like you just joined a group and Come on, Azumi. Accept it. Let me think about it. Now get out of here. Oh. <laughs> he said, get out of here, peasant. Yeah, all right, queen. This is your ring. Your... Oh. She said, I'm a suitable challenger. <laughs> Ozzy became a take her seriously. She's laughing at her. She's like, get this. Get this pathetic waste out of my ring right now. Well, Ozzy's reign might be coming to an end. 
They see you to think I'm right. I look forward to our match. Damn, I guess it's like that. I was gonna be like, what the hell? This ain't how this shit works. She's like, this girl has the nerve. She's like, no, you. <laughs> She's like, you shake my hand. I love it. I love it. Azumi's 18 years old, but she's like the sassiest one. I love it. Oh, she, she hit her with the voice. She said, she said, <laughs> you shake my hand. I'm the champion. You shake my hand. Aside from that stupid, damn, aside from that stupidity. <laughs> oh. She is so sassy. She's like, she's definitely somebody's daughter. She's like the, she's like so full of herself, but like, you know, I understand it because she's, the, she's the shit. God damn. God damn. This is our queen and our future world of stardom champion, everybody. Momo and Yutami, they wish they could be as great as Azumi is. When is, uh, when's, uh, Natsu Samir supposed to come back from injury? I'm not too know? sure. I, I have not heard much about her injury. Yeah, Starlight Kid! I like Hana and Julia because Hana's last feud is short, but it's special for me. Yeah, man, we all, we all miss her. Very much so. Julio's a special place for being her last feud. Match of the night up next. Mm, you say that match of the night goes to Azumi, I mean, Starlight Kid and Tam. I believe it. I pinned her with the Tiger Suplex. Today I plan... Oh, yeah, she did eliminate Tam in the, in the uh, six-man match. Yay! Hey, Tam! Ah, uh, dang. I think we both have Tam in this match, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Which Tiger Suplex will win? Tam Chan is the only Suplex Master of the Cosmos. You got that right. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to crush you, then Suplex you. Alright, take off! Simple, sweet, to the point. Tam, Tam's definitely going to win, but I don't, I don't know if I want her to now that I think about it. You better not disrespect Tam like that. Wait, is this a new theme song? Is this a new theme song? Ew, why do they have a new theme song? Oh no, this is Starlight Kid, is it? Oh, this is a, I guess this is a teaser package for the match? They better not give Tim a new theme song, man. Her, te her theme song was perfect. I think this is a teaser for their match. Yeah, they're showing how uh, Starlight Kid eliminated Tim in the last match. Yeah, man, Starlight Kid, she she she's a uh, Pac mentality alongside um, alongside what's her name, Saida. I mean, Star Starlight Kid's your your homie. She she messaged you and she wanted. She's my homie, show. but my favorite is is Tam. So can't bet against her. Also, Starlight Kid, I'm I'm kind of mad at her. She 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 sided with Mayu, who's going about the wrong way. So no, you can't be mad. Tam at has to Star Tam has to humble her. Tam's gonna humble her in this match. I have absolutely no idea what is going on. <laughs> it's fine, bro. You you'll understand when you Wait, start watching Star Wars. Why is he shaking his legs? Why is he dancing? Is that a freak? Do you see him? He's shaking his legs around. He's like dancing to the. Bro, I'm kind of mad. They they really they really are not giving. A... Oh, this is Starlight Kid. Okay, great. And Starlight Kid. What I, when we do a review of this show, we'll, um, you'll be, it'll be put into better perspective for you. Oh, it is the beef you want. Yeah. When he does a review of the show. Exactly. Starlight Keto. I can't grasp the fact that she's look, she's getting older, man. Start calling spots. Oh, oh, my God. oh Lord. It was like a make on the last show. A make almost took a L on the last show. Starlight Kiro. Hey! Ben Grimshaw with a five pound super chat. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. For the Osmi comments and surviving Raw, LOL. Hopefully, Mayu isn't too badly hurt. Big Dave Meltzer. 
said she's struggling. But anyway, keep grinding. Thank you, man. Ben Grimshaw with the donation. Bow down to the queens. And here comes the stardom dream herself, Tam Nakano. Yeah, Mayu wasn't doing so well either. I do remember that. Yeah, I, I mean, she's in the next match. We'll advertise for it, so we'll see. Hopefully she's doing better. Keep grinding. Thank you very much, Ben. I appreciate you, man. What she DM? How did you do it? Oh yeah, she I DM'd her through Twitter to, uh, you know, get a ticket to the Stardom show when I went to Japan. Yeah. Yeah, she asked if you were going to the American show, and then the American show never happened. <laughs> Tam Nakano, Tam Tam. Now I just need a signed picture of Tam, and I'll be complete. I'll be feeling whole. Big shout out to Ben Grimshaw for it, a five pound super chat, man. Have you seen ringside news getting violated online for fake news? Violated? What, did they get like taken down or something? I mean, if they did, then that's on them for reporting fake news. That would be on them. SLT, me that's okay? When's, my, my whole thing is when's Meltzer gonna get taken down for fake news? <laughs> He's a legacy man, never. He he fakes news all the time, come on. We're good. We should be good. It says the, uh... Alright, everybody, are we good? Is the stream still up for everybody? Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Dave, can you see the stream still? Cut her leg. Yeah, it looks like your stream's still up. Alright, that's good. I guess I don't know what's been going on, on my computer lately. Like when I stream, it's it's been acting weird. Like it, this it, the stream goes out for some reason. No idea what's going on, but I gotta call somebody to see if we get that fixed. Cause can't have that happening. But uh, notorious nightmare says Stardom, let's go. Absolutely, man. Stardom's the best. Like the actual wrestlers are responding to them. She's not a kid anymore. Yeah, she's definitely not a kid anymore. I mean, she's—I feel like she's probably gonna end up going by Starlight Kid for the rest of her career, but definitely not a kid anymore. She definitely don't look like one anymore. Kid for the rest of her career, I—I I, I think it's cool as shit. Yeah. Azumi Red Belt, yes, yes. Notorious Nightmare Switchblade, you get it, you get it. Starlight Adult, Starlight Adult doesn't fit. <laughs> Starlight yeah. Teenager. Teenage Starlight? Teenage Starlight could work. But, I mean, she won't be a teenager forever, though, so. That'll last all of three years, and then she'll have to be Starlight. Starlight, uh, yeah, Starlight Adult. <laughs> Why wouldn't she just become Starlight at that point? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could be Starlight Adult, but. I mean, she has to go through the stages. Starlight Kid, Starlight Teenage Starlight, and then Starlight Adult. But I guess you could... Yeah. I guess you can adult to just being Starlight. Maybe her name will be her name will be just Starlight. Like J U S T Starlight is gonna be her name. Just Starlight. And then Starlight. Damn, she sit that boss of crap. She's literally sitting on her. Ow. Jesus. She is literally sitting on her in his Boston and she crab. Becomes the elderly Starlight. <laughs> old old Starlight. It's gonna be her name when she's like 30, 40 years old, still wrestling. Yeah. And you know, when you become old something, like old yeller, you get taken out back and super kicked in the face. Like Damn. Shawn Michaels did to Ric Flair. I'm sorry. I love, who is going to be Osme doing it since, since their feud dates back so long? Yeah, he's going to be like, sorry. I love you. <laughs> and then Osme just locks in the submission. She taps her out for the final time as they both cry on the mat. AEW announced the women's tournament. I think half of them will be from Japan. Should hold some matches from stardom. I did see that um, there's a Japanese flag on the logo. I don't know how they're going to pull that off because, if I'm correct, Japan... I don't know if they close their borders, but they're under... At least um, at least Tokyo's under a state of emergency, so I don't know how they're going to get people over here. If they can, great. But I don't know how they're going to do it. So, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how they're going to do it once again. I think travel's still closed. I don't know how they would do it either. 
They recently, I think, just closed traveling. So once again, they pull it off. Listen. Great, but closed for a while. Well, no, because they allow they allow people in through their work visas. Like if you were traveling on business, they allowed you back in the country. But like, well, that's not what Emmy Soccer has been saying. Emmy Soccer says that she hasn't been on AEW because of traveling restrictions. So well, maybe they won't let her travel to America then because J. Oh my God, DDT. Because like you know, JY Juice, those guys were in America and they were able to travel back to Japan. Oh, well, maybe, yeah, it might be that, but I, I just know that's what Emi Sakura has been saying for, like, a while, or so that's why she's not in AEW recently. They should do what she NJPW did with the Super Juniors this year. Well, the thing about that is New Japan had those guys accessible because they're all in America. A lot of these women are in Japan. Like, Shida and Riho, yeah, they're Japanese, but Riho is in Japan right now. So, Riho, unless travel... Is lifted. Rio ain't coming back to AEW anytime soon. Why did they release Sadie Gibbs and B Priestley? Because of the pandemic, and they were stuck in Japan. So they're like, well, if you can't come over to the States, you might as well let you go. Sadie Gibbs, I, <clears throat> they weren't using Sadie Gibbs. They might as well have released her. Well, um, B, it's because of the pandemic. Sadie Gibbs, I guess, is the pandemic as well. But it's like they literally were not using her at all. So they might as well just let her go. Suplex, one, two, kick out. Bro, WWE should go. Should just let Kyrie go to stardom when she while she's in Japan. WWE ain't that nice. Not not that nice. See, they let Sari go to back to Japan because Sari was already in Japan <clears throat> when the pandemic started. That's why. Kyrie's in the states. They're not gonna fly Kyrie out to Japan. Just a letter rust for stardom. No, they I don't have. Think, I don't. I don't think Kyrie is in the states. I think she is in Japan. Well, she might be in Japan right now, but considering Kyrie Sane is a WWE name, like she was on the main roster, I no, I don't think so. Sari didn't debut on WWE television, so it's not like any company benefits from having Sari on the roster. Like, I mean, they benefit by having her talent, but they don't benefit by, like, oh, former WWE wrestler Suri. Like, no, she never debuted on WWE. So, you got to think about it that way. <clears throat> if WWE sees it that you're benefit off of their name, they're not going to allow you to be on their show unless you get released. So, that's what it boils down to, inevitably. They didn't release Emi Sakura or Yuka Sakazaki. Yeah, they're, they're, still, they're still... Well, then you call that into question as well, so... Emmy and Yuka. Well, I think with Emmy, they have the whole talent exchange through Emmy. So I think it's part of the reason why they didn't release her. With Yuka, I think it's also a fact that they had that relationship with DDT. I think that is relationship based. Whereas with B, I don't think there is a relationship with B and well, I Stardom. Think that, I think it's like a, I think it's like a, a three way kind of thing where it's like Gotta Move has a relationship with DDT. And both of them have relationship with AEW. Yeah, like I said, I think it's mainly <clears throat> a relationship thing. They all are connected by someone. With B, it's just Stardom. And I don't think AEW has a relationship with Stardom. Contrary to popular belief, I don't think they do. Damn, Tam is going in on Starlight Kid right now. With the I don't think they do at all. Because, like, who from Stardom has shown up in AEW? I mean, everybody was talking about Riho. But Riho, people tend Riho, to forget no, Riho is Riho, not contracted anywhere. Riho was got to move. Riho comes from Emi Sakura. That's yeah, but she's really not even signed to got a move. She's a freelancer. No, yeah, because Emi told her that she, you know, it's like it's time to, you know, if you really want to go to AEW, it's time to go. Like, time to you, spread you, your rings and fly. You kind of, you kind of graduated. Tiger, you know, oh, oh. You no. Know? Who do you think will hit the Tiger Suplex first? Uh, uh, Tam, probably. Wait, oh, Rana? No. Oh. Wait, what? What? Oh, shit, Tiger Suplex from Starlight Kid. One, two. Ah, Tim kicks out. Oh, oh. All right, that was an interesting transition to the Tiger Suplex. Bro, yeah, WWE cool. should let... Yeah, right there. Did they, they did it with Tony Storm when she was the UK champion. That is true, but I think... Didn't Tony already sign with WWE at that point? Or no, you know what it was. Uh, Tony Storm wasn't signed. Was she signed to Stardom? I don't know what the. I forgot what the case was, but there was a hold case on, where on, Tony. Hold on, hold on. 
Tony Storm. Tony Storm showed up in WWE, not AEW. We're talking about AEW. With Stardom. I, I forgot what the case was, because that was a special case with Tony Storm. I forgot what it was, though. It's crazy how much SLK has improved since the restart. Of course, yeah. She's had time. And she's aged. I mean, I keep on saying it like she's like 20 years older, but she just she just looks older. And, like, oh, damn. There's the, there's the kick to the face. And, of course, I don't mean this in the mean way at all, but her body looks fuller like she looked like she's built muscle since then too i mean tony storm kind of came during the the second may young classic right she was, a, That's when they was, she, was she in the first i think she was in the first she was in the first and the no, second or was she in the was, second well, i think she was in the first and the second. second yeah she was in the it's first least. one and then she won the she won the second one right no yeah she won the second one she was in the first and then she won the second one she, she had the finals with dio uh, evolution for the second one. Yeah. Wait, oh, roll up. One, two, wait, ten, counter one, two, starlight. One, one two, two. two. Ah. One, two. Dane, are you one, behind me? I'm a little behind you, yeah. I think you're behind me. Let me pause for a second. I'll pause I for like three seconds. One, yeah. two, three. All right, maybe we'll be uh, a little bit in sync now because I'm like, you sound like you're behind me for like at least five seconds. I don't think it was five, but... Running knee! Oh, okay. We're good, I think. There's a tiger suplex from Tam! Tigers! Damn! Elevation! One! Two! Killed. Three as she gets it! God damn, she got a height on that tiger suplex. And Tam the Kano is just wow. so flexible that her bridges are always, like, so perfect. Yo, I've tried to do a bridge recently. It fucking hurt, bro. Not bad. I mean, if you're not if you're not into like gymnastics or like you know really flexible, then I bet it does hurt doing a bridge. Yeah, it feels like you're gonna die, bro. You're like, dude, stop. <laughs> bridges are easy. Yeah. yeah, if you're flexible, bridges are easy. Yeah, well, I mean, no, 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 no. We're talking about high angle bridges. We're talking about time to kind of render reader bridges. Not like the typical, oh, I'm going to arch my back up a little bit, look like I'm doing a bridge. I'm talking about like going in like a U shaped bridge. Y'all just got to remember, oh. I'm, I'm big boy. It'd be like, I'm like Yokozuna doing a bridge. <laughs> Not that big, but you know what I mean. Yeah, tap tap, yeah! Cosmic Angels, get it up. Hey, Tam Tam. I got the body of the obese Indian kid from Rinka King. What? Yeah, that's what they call him. I forget what his name is. All right, guys, we're about to head into our next match, but real quick, I'm going to pause this. They hit the pause button. We're going to pause this real quick. I'm going to take me a quick little bathroom break. Your boy will be right back. Do not go anywhere. Oh, wait, you see on the road? Wait a minute. Maki. Oh, wrong order. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, she dropped her feet. Dropkick. Oh. Missed the dropkick. She missed what? it. Trini. Damn. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, it's an armor. Oh. Armor blind. Trini's going to make a tap. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, I, oh, I'm trying awesome. to get to This is awesome. Oh, this she's is... trying to make a... Oh, don't tap. Maki, don't tap. Don't tap. Don't tap. Oh, oh she let go this time. Uh oh. Just lock it in cross face. It's over. She going to lock it in? Oh, oh no. She's going for... Oh, she's going for those drop kicks. Drop kick! Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think she may go for more than two this time. Oh, oh. drop kick! Oh, she's going for more than two. Oh, oh. drop kick! Oh, wait, she's going for another one. Oh, oh. oh. wait, but oh, drop, drop kick! kick. Mocking, she's like, what's going on? Wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> drop kick! Drop kick! What's going on? Wait, wait, oh, shit! Oh, uh, drop! Wait, oh. she caught her foot! Oh! oh. Thanks, sweet. Damn! She's down. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Trudy Shadows ain't having it. Trudy Shadows is not. Oh, wait, she's not done. Wait a minute. Tuck the head. Super kick to the head. Wait a minute. No. 
What the fuck? Double <laughs> foot stuff. I'm turning shadows. It's all over. It's over. Oh no, she go for a shadow stop. It's over at this point. It's over for her. Damn. To Damn, oh wait, Maki's back up to her feet! Wait a minute, wait! Oh! Spring board! Oh! oh spinning! Oh, Where's my fly? fly? Holy shit! Holy shit! Wait for the pin! What? Oh, what? Oh, kick out of one! Holy kick out of one! What the hell is your robot? Oh shit, she's getting right back up to her feet! She's like, I'm not done yet! Wait a minute! Roll over! Oh. PK! And now, shoulder down. She's not down! Go right back to the arm! Elbow drop right across it! Another elbow drop! Oh, the standard look at her. She, she already knows she got the match, but she's like, oh, come on, get out. Get out. Oh, she's going for the Trinity crossface. Here we go. Holy Trinity crossface. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. She's trying, she's trying to reach. Don't tap. Reach. Don't tap. Don't tap. Oh, she lets go. But she was already near the roof. That was a bad decision. She let go. It was a bad decision. Oh, she's buying again this time. There we oh, go. There we go. Right in the middle of the ring. Wait, her monkey's still trying to crawl. Reach. It's she gonna reach it. She gonna tap. Uh, oh, rope break. Bam. This is awesome. This, this is, is awesome. awesome. So what do you think Trinity gotta do to put her away? I don't know. Wait a minute. She's trying to get up. Maki run out of weight. Wait. Wait. Oh! oh! What? Oh! Cash got knife from Maki Kishimoto. She's going for a score pick again. Holy shit. Holy shit. She's going for a scorpion kick again. Here we go. Uh, scorp oh, oh plus to the gut. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Here we go. Arm oh, bar. Oh, oh, arm bar. Arm bar. Wait, Maki. Pops oh. that ass. She gets out of it. God damn, Trini. Wait, Maki. Guess oh, get knife. Guess get knife from Maki. One, two, two three. Maki Kishimoto gets it. Fucking dude. That was a great match. What? All right, guys, we're back. We're back. We're back. Just got back. From my I've been trying to break. talk to you guys about WWE <laughs> India, and he had me muted. I forgot to tell Dave that yes, I muted I him. This dude was literally talking about WWE India for God knows how long. Why I used the bathroom and filled up my cup of water. But I was giving my opinion on WWE India because somebody started talking about it in chat, and then he he had me muted the whole time. He's trolling me, dude. My bad. My bad, bro. My bad. But yeah. uh... I tried to, I'm trying to incorporate uh, these like little commercial ad breaks whenever I go on water, whenever I go on my water break or I um uh, I have to use the restroom. So hopefully you guys like that NBC clip of the week. I got, do you guys like that as opposed to me just like leaving and then you just watch my chair? I hope you guys enjoy that or whatnot. And then also yes, I have yes. Maki Ito, future AEW women's champion. I agree with that. Maki Sorry, Ito, yes, Maki <laughs> Ito, <laughs> future AEW women's champion. I'm bringing some bad news. I have to go wake up early tomorrow. Have fun. Wait really long. Thank you for tuning in, man. I appreciate you very much. All right, guys. and We're going to be going back, back, back to watching our stream in just a few seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, play. We resume back. Hey, big shout out to one true villain MS. For the follow on Twitch, man. I appreciate you very much. He says, chair stream. <laughs> yes. I, I, I guess he appreciates my chair more than he appreciates my uh, uh, my ad breaks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't do ad breaks. Not during that. I probably should, right? Just throw just throw up a... Com but no, you won't, you won't be able to see my... Uh, you won't be able to see my stuff if I throw in the... Uh, goddamn, what's it called? So I can't do that. What if they? What if they had like one day WWE be like the chairman of WWE and it's literally just a chair? <laughs> it's a it's a match with the chair. I, I guess I timed that perfectly because now you have Ciori and uh, Lady C cleaning the ring. Is that Ciori? I think that's Ciori. Uh, it looks like it. I From the hair. Tell. Did you see the clip of um? Did you see the clip online of uh, Momo and Ciardi having like this um, rock paper scissors shoot battle, and then Ciardi wins, uh, and Momo beats the shit out of her with a hammer, a toy hammer, not a real hammer. Was it actually rock paper scissors? Is it was a uh, junkin? No, it was rock paper. Hold on, let me. I'll I'll share the tweet with you. I'll share the tweet with you. 
It wasn't. It wasn't like in. So they said rock paper scissors in English. It wasn't. No, it was in Japanese. She said in Japanese. You can if you watch oh, the hands, yeah. you could tell they're obviously doing it. Hey, it's yeah, already in Jamaica. Sasha Ju Junkin Pong, something like that, right? Say it again. It's like Sasha Ju Junkin Pong, something like that. It's close to that. Yeah, That's you know a it, tiny. Like, you you know you know some Japanese. You you lived in Japan for about a year, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I know, only know that from Gato Move. They do that at, like, the end of every show. They do a rock, paper, scissors, shoot, shoot thing. Like, they do that at the Hold on, Dan. Let me share this with you. Menharn. For those, I'll share it on the stream, too, for those of you who have actually not seen this. This is the funniest thing ever. Everyone go to that link that I just sent. <laughs> it's Momo and Ciardi doing a rock, paper, scissors, and then, like, Momo loses, and then she just beats the shit out of Ciardi with that, with that toy hammer. It's so funny. And Momo's dead ass serious and she's beating her with it. It's 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 comedy gold. I believe it, I believe. <laughs> oh. I took Japan for one year and learned nothing. Really? Nothing? Nada. I mean I know like Konichiwa, Sumimasan, um Oedo Tai Oh Oedo Tai. Uh, what's the other one? You know um you know uh Kumpai? Kumpai, what's Kumpai? No, I don't know that one. It's like tears. Cheers! Kind of oh. like saying, cheers, like, come by, and you hold up your drink. <laughs> come by, yeah. well, well, I know what that means now. Yeah. I know what it means now, so now I'm, uh, come by, senpai? Sem yeah, well, you know what the opposite of senpai is, right? It would be, um... Mm, oh, no, don't tell me, sensei! No, it's senpai kohai. Senpai Kohai. Oh, Senpai Kohai. Because that's what the stardom runs. The system is the Senpai Kohai system. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I should know that because I have a character in my base combat named Sasuke Kohai. I should, I should have known that. Yeah. Here comes B Priestoli, one half of the tag team champions in one of the dumbest of all time, Saki Kashima. I actually don't know that much Japanese. I know very little, to be honest. I wish I knew more. Yeah, I wish but I knew I learned, more, too. I learned a lot from wrestling, to be honest, though. Like, this stuff I know is from wrestling. Yeah, Saki Kashima! I only know hello in Japanese because of anime. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody I think everybody knows Konichiwa, though. Most people know Konichiwa, let me say that. Everyone knows Kawaii. Kawaii. Dude, the first time I heard Kawaii was um. Have you ever seen the Hollow Back music video? Hollow Back. <laughs> the Hollow Back girl one. Yeah. By, uh, oh, Stefani. by Gwen Stefani. Yeah. A few times been around that track of the da 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 in that pack because I ain't know how to back. Do it in and then she goes, oh, super Kawaii. <laughs> and she like. Takes I don't back. remember that part of the song. It's at the beginning of the music video. This shit is bananas. B A N A N A S. Backup dancers are all from Japan. Oh, okay. I I I don't think I've ever seen the music video. I know the song. Uh, I I listened to the song all the goddamn time when I was younger, back when it was blowing up. But I don't think I ever seen the music video. Bro, I I just looked up uh, yesterday. I looked up Hameka's height. You know, this girl is only like five foot, like six, seven or eight. I thought her makeup's like this, this fucking giant or something. The way she looks, she is not that tall. I'm actually a little disappointed. I expected her to be taller. Yeah, five eight. Let me hear like the same height. I expected her to be like towering. I thought maybe if I beat her real life, she'd tower over me. I'm no, she won't. I would, I would eat her. I would eat her. Well, I mean, we're the same height, so I wouldn't eat her, but still. Everybody else in start. She's she's not tall. Everyone else in stardom is just tiny. Yeah, that's true. Everyone in stardom is tiny. Yeah, so when you have this five foot eight, and that's why I think a lot of people are so attracted to Lady C. Lady C is like the tallest woman in stardom, but she's only five nine. The cameras make her look taller. Yeah, it's the it's the magic of videography. They're like, oh my god, look at it. It's basically Andre the Giant. It's like, no, it's <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> no, bitch. Like, yeah, if you put her next to Rey Mysterio, I guess she is Andre the Giant, but. 
I am the future. Hey, she's stealing, she's stealing Asuka's tagline. But I'll allow it because it's Sai Kamatani. And she is the future. So I'll allow it. Yeah. Sai Ida oh. bringing her maid to the ring. How how nice of her. Let me you stop being what? mean to Momo. You, you bully Momo. <laughs> Let me stop like being mean. Favorite. Hold on, that used to be like your favorite. And now it's like, <laughs> nah, nobody else is inside. Ah, uh, Toxic Tyler came out once again. Let me stop. Let me stop. Uh, nobody clipped that. Nobody clipped me calling Momo her mate. <laughs> he he rode the he rode the trend of Momo, and now that she's everyone's done with her, he's done with her. He's like, nope. Yeah, I'm a bandwagoner, of course. Anyway. Soon as soon as the IWC disbands of their favorite wrestler, I have to. So she's scum of the earth. Izumi two belts, white and high speed. No, no, sir. White and red. White and red. Or if you go three belts, and she holds on to the high speed. If Natsupoi beats her at the All Star Dream Show, I wouldn't be disappointed. Well, I guess Mai's well enough because she's in this match. We'll see if she takes any bumps. If she takes any big bumps. You know, NBC inspired UK thing starts. Turn okay, you're doing the NBC UK tournament. All right, dude. Make sure you link me to it when you actually do it. Me and Dane will have to watch it. If you guys don't know, Map Beast Combat is my uh, 2K show. I showed it earlier. It was the clip with those two women that were kicking ass. It's coming back, bro. Map Beast Combat New Beginning. We're having our draft show, which I can confirm will be on the 30th of January. And then the uh, first, the official first show will be th uh, before the Rumble on January the uh, 31st. Yeah, this, is, uh, this won't be a Mayu match if she doesn't land on her neck at least once. But I hope so. she's, I hope Mayu's well because if she's not well, then Ruka will have to take the match. Ruka's terrible. That's not nice. But yeah, let me stop being mean. She's young. She's young. Let me stop being mean. He's learning. We all can't be Azumi and be like the best. Yeah, like we all can't be like... born the greatest of all time. True. We all can't jump out the womb being the best wrestler. True, true, true. You know, if it, maybe, maybe if Ruka left Stars and joins Queen Quest, it just went to Azumi's ring. She would be better. She would be better in like two two days. But under the tutelage of Mayu, she's going. It's going to take her some time. You hate Star. Mayu is like the best wrestler in the world. I don't hate Mayu. I just think that if she trained under Azumi, she would, you know, be's extending her hand. You better not join the Wedo tie. Don't do that. You don't better do not. She said, "Talk to the hand, Hameka." Really? Is everybody they gonna fall said, for it? We, they said, "Why would we join? They're Donna Del Mondo." We we we, we we literally we literally want to keep winning. Yeah, we don't. She's like, I'm to. sorry, I'm not interested in losing. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with Donald Amundo. Yeah, we're in the good graces of uh, stardom. Why would we? Exactly. Would if we you want to, if you want to keep winning, you don't leave Donald Amundo. No, you leave for Donald Amundo. But that's yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, if I'm Ruka, I'm leaving for Donald Amundo. You know, I might not improve as a wrestler, but at least I'll be winning. <laughs> Dude, I'll win every week. <laughs> Damn, bro, I'm actually mad. Because, like, I literally sat here thinking her is like, six feet tall. She's only, like, my height. B's a smart one. She dipped out of the ring. Oh, shit. Ruka not going down? Yeah, that's right, Ruka. You stand your ground. You stand your ground. Yeah, Saya. Dropkick. Dropkick. Yeah, exactly. Oh, double. Oof. Double crossbody. I could see Ozzy in five years in the cool main event of Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, buddy, I don't know about that one. I, I would Wrestle love it, but I don't know about that one. Hold on. Wrestle Kingdom is New Japan, bud. Yeah. <laughs> like, what you should shoot for is you should shoot for stardom to have their own... Big show in uh, the Tokyo Dome. 
In 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 New Japan, she ain't co-main eventing shit. There ain't no female in in Stardom is co-main eventing shit alongside the men. That's yeah. not happening. They're gonna call, they're gonna call it Wrestle Queendom. <laughs> Wrestle Queen. I would buy tickets to Wrestle Queendom. Yep. I would too. I th- I mean, <laughs> if, I, if I wasn't lazy. Exactly. You think I got money like that? I probably do, but I don't really. Want- I don't want to spend all of them. I probably do. <laughs> DDM annoys yeah. me. They just keep treating them like damn TCS didn't get that treatment. And my is on yeah. my legs. He's so scared to take a bump right now. My, you hop in there. I, maybe she is hurt. Maybe because she's not doing much. It's really all been Ruka so far. She's like, yeah, listen, I'll I'll stand here. You you get your ass kicked. Oh no, no, never mind. I spoke too soon. Wait, she's going for a dive. Suicide dive. Azumi's like shot hopping. <laughs> the Animi, y'all good? Okay. Now B and Sakura B. Yeah, yeah, B's B's a smart one. I mean, it doesn't look like she's. Taking a lot of damage so far, so I do hope she's okay. Yeah. It looks like they're going easier on her, and I don't know. Taking her out of the equation. Um, yeah. Well, Dave Meltzer was speaking like this girl has like some brain contusion or some shit. I mean, there was but she had to. She had to be well enough to be in this match. Like I'm not saying yeah. she's not injured at all, but she had to be well enough to be in the match. I mean, there was pictures of her. In like a hospital kind of looking situation, but I don't know what that was about because I don't speak Japanese. So. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh, there's Wedo Tai doing the button. boots. Boot to the face. Still advertised to face Tam, so hopefully Dave is wrong. Yeah, I think just thought about that too. Like she's supposed to be facing Tam in two days, so I she can't be that hurt if she's literally gonna be wrestling. Tam Nakano in a singles match. Yeah. Maybe, it, maybe she was sick and they thought it was COVID, and maybe it wasn't. But like I said, they 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 was saying it like she's hurt, hurt. I'm like, if she's hurt, how is she in this match? And then also on top of that, why is she advertised to face Tam in three days? My YouTube was lagging, so I came on here. Planes, what's going on, planes? Thank you for coming through, man. Going over to Twitch. Like I said, hopefully yeah. she's okay and it's not as bad as Dave is making it seem like. Dude, I told you, Dave's fake news, bro. Like, when are you gonna? I mean, I don't yeah. even follow Dave like that to be all hurt up or bent out of shape. So, dude, Dave Meltzer will tell you that Rey Mysterio melted the, the I don't know. Mid Atlantic. What? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of what to say. Yeah, but I'm not. Where are you getting that from? Capsules. That's the news to me. Capsules. The ice capsules are melting because of Rey Mysterio. That's what he's going to put out. The ice. Ca- <laughs> global global warming because of Rey Mysterio. Yeah. Uh, I think they'll dress up Azumi as Mayu. She beats Tam, and <laughs> Azumi's gonna dress. As- I mean, they're not—they don't even have the same hair color though. So how are you gonna how are you gonna pull that one off? One true villain, MS. Thank you for the follow, man. Uh, let me replay that real quick. Yeah, thank you for the follow on Twitch, man. I appreciate you very much. I must I must have missed it when you Imagine did the follow. Dressing up Azumi as Mayu—that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Does like a Damien Sandow type thing? He says CGI. <laughs> They're gonna CGI Mayu in a match. I would die. <laughs> you just have Tam fake selling for the CGI Mayu. Oh my god! It would be like, did you see the Did you see the Impact Karate Man match versus? I haven't Damien? seen that match yet. I heard it was horrible though. It's, it's not very good, but it's like it could be like that. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone mocaps for Mayu. <laughs> Who a mocap for Mayu? 
I feel like Tam will probably be the one who can mocap for Mayu, but she can't face herself, so. Saki with a double pin. Kick out. Who yeah, could mocap for Mayu? Siori? Maybe Siori. Like... Uh, Siori like and Mayu don't have similar styles enough to mocap mo no, for No, but they got, like, body type. Too. Body type, but if they don't wrestle similarly, then I don't know she's going to get the selling down. She'll figure it out. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, well, there goes Mayu. She's out. Over the top rope elimination. Wait, they said winner. Is the match over? No, it's an elimination match. Mayu's out. Well, no, yeah, she didn't... Not yeah. eliminated. She didn't take a lot of bumps. If anything, I don't think she only took the one. Which wasn't even a bump. She just took a suicide dive and they caught her. She got stomped yeah. on and then that was really the extent of her move, so... I don't know how that match with Tam's gonna go. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Konami? I was thinking about Konami. I don't know. Konami doesn't really... I think Tam... I don't think Konami wrestles that similar to my... I don't know. I think maybe, maybe Konami no, will no, work. No, 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 no. Kota Bushi. <laughs> Kota Bushi mocaps for Mayu. Yeah, so he could do all the neck tricks that she does. When he lands on her neck. True, true. I mean, I think Kodobushi is a bit too big to mocap for Mayu, but I think if it's a mocap thing, they won't capture the uh, the whole shape of Kodobushi. It'll just be his moves on her body. So yeah, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Mocap. They have to pay big money to get the IWGP Heavyweight and IC Champion to mocap for them, but. Well, they work. For the they team. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're under the same umbrella. Maybe, maybe it'll be like, "Hey, Kota, we need you to do us a favor. We need you to mocap for Mayu." What if uh, during the match, Tana kind of goes backstage and just pulls back the curtain? You just see Kota Bushi selling. Kota Bushi's on his neck, like, Duh. <laughs> it's like row, row, like Kota Bushi, like, like. Don't you hate her, Ben? Stuck in the UK, bro. Really? Yeah. She's been wrestling for Rev yeah. Pro a lot. I thought I thought she might have heard my uh my challenge and got scared. She got scared, she really? Scared. Are you serious? <laughs> Quit wrestling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jamie Hater fears Dane. Oh, like damn, like, dude, like like Vince oh. fears Jared. Oh wait, I think Saki tapped. Yeah, she did. DDM elimination. Oh, it's down to Siori and Momo. Oh, well, here comes here come the loser. Let's see what they can do. Wait, German. German suplex. Come on, Momo. Go, Momo. Come on, Momo. Oh. You need to get this dub, girl. You need to get this dub. Oh, okay. Come no, on, in Momo. stardom, her ass will take the pin, too. Tam wrestle a Mayu dressed doll like Abushi. But Abushi's too big to be dressed as Mayu. You had to mocap for her. Probably why they forgot about the whole Yushiko angle. I didn't forget about it. Nah, nah, I know. I know about the, that shit. Starlight in heels. <laughs> Starlight is Mayu in heels. Well, Starlight would have to mask to be Mayu, though. Well, I mean, I should do a mocap once again. Uh oh, headlock applied. Headlock applied. Momo ain't about to beat DDM. Momo ain't about that life. Momo ain't about that life. I think it would be smart to have Momo win, because isn't Momo fighting for that title soon? The SWA? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think it would be the best decision, but given her booking lately, I wouldn't be surprised if she does lose this match. So she's gonna lose the 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 lead up match to it, and then she's gonna lose the other lead up match, which is a, just a tag match, which is this match. Like, By that booking, she should win the SWA championship. Yeah. Wait, oh, caught. She, she's not going to obviously. Like, come on. Exactly, it's Momo. She never wins shit. They can't no, that chick just won the title too, so it's like. Yori's like 
title. I mean, she said she won it like what? Seven dice in the oh oh look, I have a tiny with the with the flips. Yeah, what was that like a month or two ago? Mm. Want to know who's the modern day version of Eddie Guerrero? Is this girl right here, Sai Kamatani? She's the modern day Eddie Guerrero. Dave Meltzer don't know what he's talking about. I don't think I've ever seen Eddie Guerrero doing. <laughs> 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 I'll just believe it at that. I won't even say it. Watch, well, she bust out the goddamn, uh, the, the uh, what's it called? The Three Amigos. Oh, dude, she should. I'd add that for a new set. Dude, go for it. Shoot for the stars, Saya. Top rope. She's kind of far. What the hell is she going for? Oh, never mind. Frog slap? I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> Draw kick, yeah. If she did a standing frog set, that'd be Tanahashi, not Eddie. I don't remember Eddie ever doing a standing frost blast to the opponent. Nah, but he should have. Oh, there's Ciori. Damn, Momo, where you yeah, at? Where you at, Momo? Come on. I would change about Eddie Guerrero is I would I would just add him doing standing frog splashes more. I just put put a few of those in there. Momo went from successor of, of EO to third person in QQ behind Ozmi and Utami, basically. Wait, oh wait, she's about to have Ciori on her shoulders? Aw, oh, boo! So when do you... One, two... I thought she was going to have Ciori on her shoulders. That would have been crazy. When do you actually think we're going to get real hologram matches? Because it's going to happen. <laughs> sometime in the future, bro. I don't know when. But sometime in the future, we're going to get hologram matches. Imagine that. We're going to see uh, Eddie Guerrero versus goddamn Brody Lee. Wrestle heaven. Let's we're, go. We're going to see a Bruno San Martino and his, his youth fight, uh, I don't know, Seth Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you're going to have hologram versus the actual wrestler matches. I, th I thought you meant hologram versus hologram. Oh, hologram versus hologram? Oh, oh burning God. hammer. Kind of. Sort of. Bruno San Martino versus one. Wait, oh, wait, oh, what? Two. That was three. That was three. Boo. That was three. That was three. That was three. That was corny. That was so three. Oh! She just kicked a maker. Damn. Oh, my will just kick a maker too. Oh, shit. Saya. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. Crossbody. One, two. Ah! Oh, come on. She should have hit that's phenomenal that's form, bro. She would have won if she hit the phenomenal form. For a hot second, I thought she, that she was that's what she was gonna go for. That'd have been. I thought it was. That'd have been wild. Fisherman Buster. Fisherman Buster. It's over. It's over. It's over. Get it. Get it. One, two. Yeah, she got it. I was, I was right. Saya, 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 she got it. She pinned a maker. You go, girl. You go, girl. You go, girl. Everyone right so far? Are they all right so far? So far, yeah. I'm surprised DDM lost this match. They never lose. They never lose, bro. They never lose. Might be the first time in history Donald Amundo has lost a match. See, I, book, I, I apparently booked this shit. Saya Kamatani is a is a history maker. She is the first person in existence to have a win over Donald Amundo. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> it's not that's not true. That's not true. I'm blowing smoke up your ass. But I mean, yeah. Big dub Big dub for Saya Saya. They couldn't give Momo the win though. You notice that? <laughs> oh dude, they they still hate her. Yeah, they hate her so much. Sierra was like, you see this? This is you. Your chances of winning the match. <laughs> what the hell? Prepare yourself for the next match. It's Erm something. Oh boy. It's I mean, boring. isn't it the isn't it the no rules match? It's Julian Natsuka Tora. I mean my expectations for it are low, so. I mean, if they go out there and they have like a death match, let's fucking go. But it's I don't think Dude, they I, will. I like death. I like death matches. I don't like them, but yeah, we love, love, love Julia. I love, love, love death matches, especially Japanese death matches. 
see if we if we get a women's death match in stardom that that'll be the truth i mean there's been women's death matches before just not in Stardom. of course yeah i know that but not in starter yeah imagine julia cements herself as the first death match wrestler in stardom let's go well uh fucking kyoku kimura but, uh, death matches before stardom. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't watch a lot of her matches, so lost on me. My Wi-Fi is so bad at the moment. Hey, man, listen, you're here. You're here. You're clear. I can see your messages. So you're good. Or a wig. She could wear a wig. Oh, she got a table. Get the tables. 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 Imagine, imagine this becomes I'm sorry, I'm a entrance. Philly native, guys. I couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. Well, imagine this becomes her full time new entrance and she brings up. She brings out a table every time. <laughs> oh, dude, I would love it. That would make, that would make a statement for yourself. Like, yeah, she's the one that brings out the table. She got the chain around her neck. <laughs> Natsuka you, Tour you, for Deathmatch Wrestling 2021. Yes, dude. Julie, ah, there has been a death match in Stardom. It was ten I remember that death match in Stardom. It was a death wire oh. explosion match. I remember that match. Oh, okay, Tsunami and Pam. I'm gonna have to watch it because I don't think I've seen that one. I mean, Actually. I wouldn't call it a death match, more of a gimmicky match. But yeah, yeah, you could, you, you could, you could make it, you could make a statement for that. She's hardcore. She's hardcore. <laughs> there she is, guys. Light. Julia. They need, light. they need the light tubes and everything. You guys would be believing that goddamn you Tommy is Stardom's ace. Nah, this is who Stardom believes is Stardom ace. Star Stardom is just colorblind and they think that her belt is red when it's actually white. That's why. That's why you guys don't think that she's Stardom's ace. Stardom just doesn't just colorblind. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What is that? That's some weapon. Doesn't like a doesn't like a chair. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I thought it was a cinder block for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? But that's no, not cinder block. I thought there were steel plates or something. One of them's gonna be Lex Luger with the steel shoulder blade or whatever. It's three a.m. where I live. I gotta go to bed. Good night. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you for coming through, Nightmare Switchblade. Appreciate you, man. You have a good night. You can invite one of these girls on the the Lex Express. Which one would you invite? Probably Natsu Kotora. She seems like she would. Uh... Actually, no. I'd invite Julia because Julia seems like she would try to make things interesting by rapping. On the Lex Express. Yeah. yeah. Dude. The hell? Oh, chairs. oh, chairs are stacked up. Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die! <laughs> Who's Yo, going through that? It's definitely, to it. it's definitely Tora. This seems yeah, like some shit Tora is made Julia for. Do. They're not letting Julia do They're not that. letting their pride of joy take a bump like that. I'd be stunned. The, oh, man. So, the, house, the like house ain't big enough for Julia to take a bump like that. So, so Tora's supposed think to about, be Let right? me say, like, think about it. That house is pretty big. Yeah. For a fucking <laughs> Go ahead. For a fucking pandemic, that's a lot of fucking people in the crowd. Yeah, that's a good amount of people. But do you think Tora's like Shane McMahon and she's just trying to impress like her dad, which is like stardom? <laughs> you know what? Probably it's the only way she's getting the championship match is if she does a crazy bump. She's like the Mick Foley of stardom. <laughs> she's the Mick Foley of stardom. Yeah. She's like, she's like, guys, I'll jump off the top rope and do a bunch of chairs. And they're like, that sounds awesome. Yeah, we'll give you... Well, you can, you'll can, you have a match against Julia, but only if you take the most dangerous spot ever. We're going to put razor blades on you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the next match he has for the World of Stardom Championship, but it's a Hell in a Cell match. Or steel, it started first ever steel cage match, and, Jul and fucking Nazi Couture takes the bump off the... <laughs> Couldn't call it Hell in a Cell because I think they have a copyright on that. They'd have to call it something else. They call it um, 
shoot for the stars in the cell. A shoot for the stars in the cell match. There you go. There we go, guys. Julia Natsukatora. Called the smell in the cell. The smell. <laughs> No, not smell in the cell. It's almost 9 a.m. where I'm at. It is 9, it's almost 9. Yeah, it's 8.51 a.m. where I'm at right now. Yeah. Oh, all the East Coast boys. What's up all the East Coast boys out there watching us? East Coast boys. East Coast boys. East Coast boys. East Coast boys. Also, big shout out to Ben Grimshaw earlier with a five pound super chat. If you guys... You guys do not have to, but if you want to support the show, my streams anyway, you guys can send a super chat. Any amount, any amount, uh, specific amounts will get you very special super chats. You saw Grim, she sent one, he sent one earlier. He got the Ozmi super chat, that's our uh, uh, default super chat. Uh, I can't tell you what the uh, what the other ones are. You have yeah. to send one to find that out. And I'm, do I'm doing this for free, so. Exactly. Dane's on the payroll of Tyler Coon Williams, which is zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> Wait, oh no, she's going through the chairs? No way. No way. No way is Julie going through the chairs. No way. Oh. Oh, she might. She Wait. Might. Oh. She's dead. She's like, no, I can't. I can't. I didn't get paid enough to do this. Wait, that's a good time. Julia. Oh, oh she goes through the chairs. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I thought it was set up for her to fly off the top rope. Bro, now you know damn well they weren't about to do that fucking <laughs> Come on, you know they were not about to do that. They are not about to do that. I thought about it for a hot second, but I'm like, they're they're not doing that. The There's no way. You see dope. Oh, Tyler is teasing us. Wait, not to play she DDM, they're uh they're trying to fight him off. Wait. Oh shit! Taking off the whole. Yo, pad. she's taking out the padding. She's going out. She's going for Toriano. Oh my god! Natsuko Tor has been studying Toriano matches. Yes, 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 yes. Yano, 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 Yano. You know what? Her new name is Natsuko Yano. Oh, Natsuko Toriano. That's who. That's her new name, Natsuko Toriano. Yeah, not Siko Toriano looking to turn buckle pad. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Bro, is she is she gonna send her into the turn buckle pad too? Oh, okay. I'm about to say this is this is way too many bumps for Julia to be taking, man. They must have paid her hefty. Oh no, Julia, don't do it. Oh, they're teasing it. Wait, no, she's got a chair. To the face! Chair! Oh! Oh, she blocked it. If she would've went for a headshot, bro, I would've marked out so badly. Oh, to the gut! To the head, to the head, to the head! Oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Do it! Do it! Boo! Do it! Boo! We oh, want headshots. We want headshots. <laughs> I want these women to die! Let me stop. They already cured... CTE over there in Japan. We're, we're behind. <laughs> well, they don't have the cure for COVID because of all the damn masks I see in the crowd, so they need to hop on that. Dude, they, they're protecting the business that matters. Wrestling. <laughs> the wrestling business. Wait, what the hell is that? I don't know. They're like these little like steel block looking things. I don't know. Wait. Is that like what they use for like kung fu? Is this like. We're gonna say those are flattened cinder blocks. Because it's wrestling. Yeah, we gotta, we like... gotta, we gotta gimmick it. It's a cinder block. It's a, it's a thin cinder block. Wait, uh, she's gonna. Ah! Oh, she broke it over her back! Oh, one of them didn't break. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy like... shit. Bro, I'm loving this match. It's so gimmicky, but. <laughs> It's so gimmicky, but I love this match. Do you plan to watch Stardom in person once COVID is over? 
I would be opposed to going back to another stardom show when I go back to Japan. I went yeah, to one last awesome. year. I've been to one last year. I would love to go back to a stardom show, but that won't be for another two years, it looks like. The way COVID's going in the States. Ooh, I reckon. Bro, let's get let's let's get kendo sticks in here. It's not a true Go ahead. I wanna go to Gato, bro. I wanna go that's where I wanna go. Gato move would be kinda lit. It it's not a true it's not a true no rules match until we get kendo sticks in here. Yeah. Wait up. Oh, Toro's got her. Julia. Back suplex. You ever seen the rise and fall of ECW? I have not seen it. Anymore? Oh damn, that was a nice spear. Oh, uh, well he says that he they brought in Singapore canes because Singapore had like uh, a guy that like got prison time and they were gonna hit him with the single four canes and people were like oh how inhumane so Paul Heyman said oh what if we did that with one of our wrestlers and that's <laughs> how the Singapore it. cane was born yeah that, that's how they uh, at least in America that's how we got it into wrestling I don't know if it was anyone else was doing it before then but Yeah, I uh, I met the Sandman one time, and I felt a candle stick. That shit is, like, no joke. I don't know how yeah. wrestlers be taking those bumps. Ooh! I want to take one. I want to take one. I Someone really had to pay me real big money to take a candle stick shot. Oh, so when Azumi is red belt champion two years, I see you. Exactly. When Azumi is the red belt champion, I'll be there. Just like when Ren Narita and Shota Umo main event in the Tokyo, then we'll be there, too. My like, kids are main eventing know. shows and they're champions. I'll be there. Like Michael Jackson said. I'll I'll be there. I'll be there. One. Two. Ooh, Julia kicks out. Julia said, you really thought you were going to be there. You thought. You thought. She's like, I basically booked this shit. Exactly. Julia's the Triple H to start him. She's sitting in on the production meetings. On the stardom book She's like, I'll, I'll take this bump, but only if I win the match. <laughs> her, how do you feel about her new gear? Uh, freaking Julia. Yeah, it's yeah. different. I don't know. It is definitely different. It's it's, it's loud. It's it's all over the place. Okay. It's like green, blue, red, purple. I was gonna throw the whole goddamn rainbow in there. That's the table! Yeah! Tables! 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 I mean, rainbow. You know what they say about her. Reading rainbow? Reading rainbow. Ba -da -da. Ba -ba. Remember all the, all the questionably lesbian things she's doing. Now she's wearing rainbow. Oh, well. Hmm. JoJo Siwa just came out the other day. Maybe we'll see Julia come out, too. Start, yeah, stardom... Sharon's letting us know what's going on backstage. Oh, not to point! Hold her down! Yeah, DDM working together. Boo, the table goes down, boo. <laughs> the way they just pulled not to point off of her. Oh. The way they just pulled not to point off of Julia. That was too funny. Ref, what are you doing? Get the table back in the ring. Yeah, Ref, tell him it's a tables match now. Exactly. Doctor Doom. Have you heard He's... of that death match that um, uh, Hyper Masao did, where you had to eat the freaking chocolate candies before you could pin them? No, I haven't. Uh, oh. Ishvir oh, Upal says, "What's up? Can I low come up in your crib, man? Fuck you! I see you at work." Uh, Doctor Doom O five four says, "What do you call a cow with three legs? What do you call a cow with three legs, Dane?" Oh, I don't know. I don't have the slightest clue either. I'm hoping there's a good punchline to this. I hope so too, because I think you left that comment probably like a solid minute or two ago. I hope it's a good one. Oh, a cow with three legs. I hope it's a good one. She hit her in the head with a chair, you missed it. Lean beef. She hit her in the head with a chair? Yeah. I missed the headshot? No, I missed yeah. the headshot! Ah, uh, I missed the headshot, bro. How? 
How did I miss the headshot? I was going to pop so big for the headshot, but I missed it. I'm actually kind of mad about that now. Lean beef. What do you call a cow that twitches? I have no idea. What do you call a cow that twitches, Dave? Uh, a streamu? Streamu. Streamu. <laughs> streamu. What if that's the, actually the joke? Like a streamer? I actually like streamu. <laughs> Beef jerky. Oh, uh, I thought Twitch like Twitch. I I, know, I, I I like beef jerky, but I think stream would work a lot better in this situation because I'm on Twitch. Yeah. Julie has a lot of Julie has a lot of gear changes over the years, but like, while keeping Italian heritage, exactly. Last one. What do you call a cow with two legs? Dave's mom. Oh, that's mean. Whoa. That's, that's mean. Not nice. That's not nice. That's a bullying. Yeah. Be a star. Oh, scoop slam onto the blocks. Don't be a bully, Dr. Doom. Be a star. That's what WWE told me when I was younger. Don't be a bully. Be a star. One, two. Oh, she kicks out. She kicks out of that. I'm mad I missed the goddamn chair shot. I'm actually kind of pissed about this. You might see another one. I know. Probably not. You saying it's a headshot. Oh, she's going for the, uh... The driver. Damn, she can't lift oh. her up. You said, damn, like, let me lift you. Can you get her? Pump handle suplex. Pump handle suplex. Julia's getting her up. She said, like, come out. Come out. Yow. Drop kick. Wait, where is... I'm mad that the I'm 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 just mad that the ropes aren't barbed wire. Yeah, exactly. That'd have been crazy. We we should have had the same style of ropes that we had in the um the match at um Hard to Kill with uh, Sammy Callahan and Eddie Eddie Edwards. Yeah. Had the, the one cage with barbed wire on the one side. That would have been wild. Yeah, I don't know why the Impact loves to do the one sided cage. They've been doing that Look for at a Mayu. long time. Mayu's Ollie was like, I, I can't believe they have one side to cage. I was like, have you never seen a fucking, like, Raven match in, like, fucking TNA? One, two. Barely kicking out. Wait! Saki! What are you what? doing? What are you doing? You can't do that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. What? Huh? Oh, no. I know. I mean... Talk to Tyler came out for a second. Let me stop. Yeah, Julie, get out of the ring. Dummy. Stupid. Dude, get out of the ring. These wrestlers are going to find out the things you've been saying about them. And they're going to they can come for you. Yeah. I'm going to come to your house. On the oh, she ran into the turn back. Oh, shit. Wait. This oh, day. <laughs> oh, what, oh, what, 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 what a hood. 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 Damn! Julia about to go down. It's about to be over. It's about to be over. This is no rules match, but refs still tell him to stop. Just yeah, why Why is the referee taking bumps when it's a no rules match? That's no. There's no logic behind that. That is true. I think he just wanted to take a bump. He told him, hey. It's a Japanese referee. They can't help themselves. They're like, dude, I want to take a bump. They learn from red shoes. Like, we have to take a bump at least twice a match. Dude, I like ref bumps. To be fair, oh, I hate, I hate, I started to hate them now because they do it all the time in New Japan. Wait, oh, uh, she's going for the splash. If she hits, it's over. Oh, it's over, pin her, she pin her. Kind of just like flopped. These wrestlers are going to cancel. T they probably will. <laughs> they probably will. One? Yeah, they will. It's inevitable. I, mean, I kid, I kid though. I mean, he's not out here calling Jericho a fat hog like <laughs> like girl, <laughs> girl in cinema, cinema did. <laughs> yeah, she made a whole video cyberbullying Chris Jericho. So yeah, she did. Bro, you subscribe. <laughs> Wait, how does Julie still up from this? She just took a table bump like ten seconds ago. Oh, my God, DDT. 
Boo, Julia, no selling. Boo. Boo. You know what it is. She has that B Priestley's ringside, and like she's she's getting that vibrancy of Will Osprey. That's why she's no selling. Yeah, I think Will so. Will Asprey. Asprey, really? Asprey. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> threw powder in her eye. What is that? She threw coke in her face. Blue coke in her face. That's crazy. Oh. She just smeared it. She okay. threw like Kool Aid powder into her. Kool Aid powder. <laughs> Leg drop. Oh shit. New champ. One, two. How are you kicking out of this shit? You can't even see. What are you doing? First, she's taking table spots. Now she's kicking out a goddamn miss spot. Like, come on now. Come on now. What is she made a Teflon? Is she the daughter of John Cena? Speaking of John Cena, that's one, two, what? Oh my well, God! Three, bro. Bro, come on. This is this is what happens in heel versus heel matches. Literally, both sides are cheating. Oh my God! <laughs> See, already's too nice to be a heel though. He's like begging, her, like, please, 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 don't count the pin, don't count the pin. Yeah, I don't see Siori being like a good like heel, but she kind of, she really is. isn't. <laughs> for to be honest. She's just part of a heel fat. Wait, this better not be the finish. Oh my, I was gonna be so mad if that was the finish. Yo, I thought it was too. Like, of I mean, all the fucking cool. things in this match, a roll up? Are you kidding me? Dude, it's wrestling. Roll ups win all the time, bro, don't you know? Yo, if she hits her with the chain and she kicks out, I'm gonna be mad. Because it's like, you should I'm... be taking all these damn bumps and kicking out of this shit. Haven't you learned that, like, dude, you just need to roll people up? That's every match. Julia better not take this bump and kick out. I'm gonna be mad. Oh, the kick, kick. The, ooh, oh, headbutt. Oh shit, Julia's got the chains. The the She's got the chains. She's gonna How are you even right now? <laughs> huh? Yeah, exactly, right? She even... Yeah. Maybe she's a uh, telepath. Stevie Wonder. She's a tele. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. She's the. Uh, she's a uh, Helen Keller. She's blind and deaf. Obviously, she I mean, can't hear me telling her to uh, sell, so that's why she's deaf. Yeah. She's gonna hang her. She's gonna hang her. Oh my gosh, she's hanging her. No, oh, not sick of tour getting s not poetic justice. Feet aren't even off the ground. Getting her. She barely choked her. It lasts like all oh, like five, three seconds, two seconds, really. Get her up on her shoulders. Let's go for the driver. Oh, there it is. It's over. One, two, three. Julia gets the pin. They, they book her way too soon. I would have liked this match so much more if Julia did not win this match. Yeah. I would like it more if she, like... Like, yeah. she took all these spots and she still won. Like, that that boggles my mind. This is That is so ridiculous. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't they reverse the roles and have it happen to... Exactly! Her? Like, why? Why? Why did she take all this and then win? That, that makes zero sense. Dude. That's, that oh, is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Too. Yeah, Julia is truly OP, that. bro. In fairness, I didn't hate the match, though. I was just... No, I liked it. I mean, if you went in here and you lowered your expectations, didn't expect it to be, like, you know, anything above a spot, like a, a gimmicky spot match, there's a lot to enjoy about it. But the fact that Julia just sat here, got missed in her face, she got the thing broken on her back multiple times, and she went to a table, and she kicked out of all of that, and then somehow managed to win, like, really? You're getting, you're getting a preview of the review here. Exactly. Say all this in the review. I can't believe they booked the match like that. Like I wanna, I want, I wanna like the match, and I do like the match, but just the way it played out in the finish. 
Natsuko, are you alive? No, you might as well just have said you buried her there because you just kicked out all of her shit. You buried should've all her moves. Buried, She's not alive. Should have been a buried alive match. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're the most crazy woman. You really are. But you're nothing. On Ju yeah, like I said, Julia is the Triple H of Stardom. You're good even without weapons. So how about not using the chain? You use the chain on her. What are you talking about? What is she deaf, blind, and dumb? All right. Julia's new gimmick here. Female John Cena. Now nah, female Triple H. It's too dangerous, really. Let's do a singles match again someday. I leave a dirty. I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> I will pass. A a a uh, a normal rule singles match with Julian and Natsuka Tori does not excite me. That does not excite me. All you guys that love, love, love Julia, I defended my title for a fifth time. Yeah, let's. All right, let's get a new challenger that will actually beat you. I want to see her lose so badly, bro. Like, I don't hate Julia, but, like, I just want to see her lose. Because she wins all the fucking time. I'll try to find a good opponent. Yo, Arisa comes out and challenges oh, Julia. That would be crazy. Kyrie Sane, Kyrie Sane comes out. <laughs> Kyrie Sane. Nah, don't do it. You, like, don't do it, Dan. I don't want to see you cry when Julia beats her. Dude, Julia's not gonna beat Kyrie, dude. Kyrie you you back. you think, man? You think? This match literally makes no sense. Oedo Tai has have been training for this match for months, and now they're like losers. Julia could have easily lost and moved up to main event if she literally hung to stay strong. Like I said, man, I f I I, I exactly. like the match as a meme, but the booking and the result is so stupid. Like, even if you didn't want to put the title on Natsuko Tora. But, but, hold on, hold on, come on. They can't have Donna Del Mondo lose twice. In exactly, one show. Donald Del Mondo never loses. They have a. No, they lost last match. <laughs> they can't lose twice in one show. Exactly. Because I, I don't Tommy. believe for a second Mike is beating the Tommy in, in the main event. Yeah, you don't want to make them look weak by having them... They're like, wait, yeah, wait, back back. we have to sweep up here. But hey, while they sweep up, I'm going to take me one more water break. So guys, don't go anywhere. I'm going to hit pause real quick. Day hit pause real quick. Hit pause real quick. Boom. Yeah, boy, we are back. Yeah. Do not go anywhere. Someone clip that. Yeah, clip you. Clip with that. the, you know, the pants and the, and the shirt and whatever garb you're wearing today. I know you're looking forward to the Warrior Rumble coming up next Sunday, right? I mean, we're all looking forward to it. It's the most exciting part of WWE for the year outside of WrestleMania. And I know for a fact you're definitely looking forward to the Warrior Rumble matches, the men's and the women's. What if I told you that there was a way to add to your Warrior Rumble experience coming up this Sunday? What if I told you all you need to do was type your name in a comment section and you would be entered in a contest to potentially win two big prizes. Sounds intriguing. All right, here's how you do it. All you have to do is search up youtube.com slash C slash Tyler Coon Williams or go to my YouTube page that you're looking at right now. And in that first thread that says Roy Rumble, go down in the comment section and type the word rumble when your comment is hearted by me you will be officially entered in our royal rumble pool once you're entered in on december the 30th i'll be putting out a video that will tell you what your number placement is going into the royal rumble pool the number that you're given will be your number for both the men's and women's royal rumble match you could choose between one of two prizes six months paid to any pro wrestling subscription service whether that be wwe network or stardom world or new japan world or anything like that or two free pro wrestling t-shirts complimentary of your boy we already filled up two pools 
and we are now looking to fill up our third one so if you're not already entered in do yourself a favor and go and yourself in our royal rumble pool for a chance to win one of those two big prizes and then while you're at it why don't you go do yourself a favor go check out my patreon patreon.com slash tyler mask a bunch of cool little perks there the day before the royal rumble is going to be new beginning in nagoya where i'll be doing a review for that show also while you're there, go to twitch.tv slash Tyler Suplex and go follow your boy on Twitch. I'll be live streaming over there a lot more often in the coming months. Then when you're finished doing that, go back to YouTube and go in a search bar and search up Tyler Mask and go give my second channel a subscribe. I drop weekly episodes of my podcast, the Chill Spill Podcast, where I talk about pro wrestling and a bunch of other stuff. So do all that and you're set. Now we just gotta wait for Tyler to come back from his bathroom break. Da, 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 da. So, how's your day been going? I think my, my mind's been going pretty good, you know. I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, just waiting for, you know, the uh, real-time Tyler to come back from his bathroom break. Right now, this is currently not real-time Tyler. This is pre-recorded Tyler talking for him. But, uh, yeah, you're looking, good. you're looking good today. Been hitting the gym? He should be coming back. Very soon, right? No? Not back yet? Alright. Guess we'll just uh, sit here and wait for him to get back. How you been enjoying the sofa? Jesus Christ, I can't speak. You know, have you ever noticed that I can't speak? I mean, I can't speak in almost any situation. I have this speech impediment that I've had since I was younger. I've been trying to work on it as I get older, but... Still slip up every now and then, you know what I mean? But... Anyway, how's your day been going? How's the show? Are you enjoying the show? I I hope you're enjoying the show. I think it's been a pretty good one from what I've seen. I hope I hope what I'm seeing is a good show. That's all I know. But um yeah. Is he still not back yet? Are you serious? This dude must be taking a shit or something. Or he's probably on his phone in the bathroom. Hmm. Yeah, that reminds me. I'm about that to go on my phone real quick and see what Twitter is all about. Oh Lord, who got ratio today? Uh, you guys are following me on Twitter, right? I put out some pretty cool. All right, we're back in action. Oh, you're taking we... a shit? Nah, I only have to use the bathroom and fill my water in. I got some crackers yeah. because I was uh, actually kind of hungry. That's what the video was saying. The video said you were taking a dump. Oh, could have been taking a shit. Taking that long, I don't know. But guys, we're back in action, Dane. Ready to hit play? Five, four, three, two, one. Two, play. One. Yeah, sweep. who's gonna sweep? Who's gonna win the sweep contest? I don't know. I got Lady C. No, I got I got Ciori. Oh. What is that? What is that sport where they just clean in the Olympics? <laughs> curling. <laughs> yeah, curling. Took a rock stars is prison. Why are we write prison? <laughs> who's going to prison? I don't know. Somebody's going to prison apparently. Not me. Copyright. Copyright prison. Not me. Not me. Get, you, you went to copyright school and now you gotta go to copyright prison. Ben Grimshaw says someone clipped that. Clip what? What'd I do? Clip that. Clip it. What'd I do? Why am I getting clipped? I don't know. Lil Sugar Vayatex says hi from Spain. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Shout out to Spain. I don't know. Much Shout out to all the pair. And Spain. I'm sure the Spain wrestling scene is badass. I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure it's great. Yeah, I love. I know little to nothing about the Spain wrestling scene. I I know more about the. And JP, we put you in. Yeah, they put me in copyright prison, bro. Yeah, copyright prison. Gonna get locked up. Gonna let me out. Gonna let me go hung it. Not you gonna let me out. Oh, gonna let. Ever heard Akon a long ass time, man. Dude, I love Akon, bro. That's my guy. Nobody wanna see us together, yeah. but it don't matter, no. Cause I got you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Akon was. Akon was bumping back in the day, back in the O's. Dude, you, remember, you remember when the only way you could get a hit was to have Akon on a song? Pretty much. Dude, it's Dude, crazy that we're in 2020 now, so now we got 2021, so now we got to see it back in the O's. Yeah, back in the day. 
Back in the the O's are back in the day now because that was officially ten years ago. Back in the O. Back in the early two thousands. Back in the late O's. Back in the double O's. You know it's we know it's gonna be really crazy when we're like 30, 40 years old with grandkids and they're gonna be like, You were born in nineteen ninety? Like, yes, I was born in the nineteen hundreds. You were born in nineteen ninety like what what are you dying? Just stop right there. You were born in nineteen ninety, like no. Yeah, but yeah, we were born in the nineteen hundreds. That's gonna be crazy to explain to my grandkids. They're they're gonna ask they're gonna ask you if uh if you if I was a slave alive. like <laughs> like were you a slave back then like no <laughs> way before my time way before my time they're gonna Timmy. ask you if uh, they're gonna ask you if George Washington was president when you were a kid like no <laughs> you're like I, you know I've seen that guy around but he wasn't president anymore <laughs> was the uh. Was this, did the Civil War happen in your time? Like, yes, yes, grandson. The the uh, Avengers Civil War happened. The, uh, what was it, Captain America Civil War? That happened during my the time. X, yeah. Captain America Civil War happened <laughs> in my time. The MCU. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what they meant. Dude, don't you know that, like, they're going to talk about the MCU in school? In the future. It's going to be in the history books. Thanos will literally be in my Korean kids' history books. If they're not, I'm going to storm that school. Micah! Me and you, Tommy Yamashita. Three, three times. T-Series versus PewDiePie. Well, I think T-Series basically won that, didn't he? I think PewDiePie, I think PewDiePie got surpassed. Like, T-Series is not a person, it's a company. I know that, but I, their channel surpassed PewDiePie. Yeah, because ale- I'm not going to get sued, but allegedly, they bought... I'm the 13th World of Stardom Champion, you Tommy. At the time of the car is Mike. Yeah, think about that. Micah's main eventing the 10th anniversary show. They must really uh, see, see star power in her. They must got her locked in like a 30-year contract. Oh, of course, because she's part of Donna Del Mundo. Of course, she's in the main event. You know what it was? You know what it was? The person who made this math card, they, they accidentally... Um, hit down too many times and put Micah instead of Julia. That's what I, happened. I don't, I don't want to make any accusations, but let's just say the Yakuza might be working with uh, Donna Del Mondo to get it. They have, they have Rossi by the balls. That's why they keep on being in these damn animals. She She got some real mob ties over there. Allegedly. And Dane said that, not me. Allegedly. Allegedly. Dane said it, not me. And and just just to clear it up, I think it's really cool, you know. <laughs> I think it's really. He's cool. like, I love the Yakuza. I, I love, love, love you. <laughs> I love, love, love you. <laughs> you better love, love, love them. I go over there for a visit. They're gonna. It's Micah. <laughs> Micah, so I serious. Think that's awesome. I remember I used to I used to not like Micah very much. Yeah, because you're like, oh, she doesn't smile. Yeah, she didn't. This, I'm like, this she, fucking wrestler. She does from time to time. But at least she's a good wrestler that doesn't smile now. Unlike Sonata, who doesn't smile and is not a good wrestler. A bad combination. Dude, Micah's fine as shit. Huh? No, Micah's a beautiful woman. I, I, never, I never said she was ugly or anything. She's a beautiful woman. Uh, but you don't like that she don't smile. We, we don't we don't need smile smiling's for wusses. Oh shit, Matt Baker said Jamie Hater in the chat. Dane, he's trying to Jamie trigger you. Hater. He's trying to trigger Dane by saying her name. I she who shall not be named. Be afraid of me. I don't hate her. I just don't think she's intimidating. And I think she tries to be intimidating. But she's not. But no, Jamie Hayter, she's uh, stuck in the UK. She's wrestling for Repro right now. I actually, I saw a picture of Jamie recently. She lost weight. She looks slimmer. She looks thinner. Yeah, because I punched the weight out of her. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Now we're going to cancel Dane. They're going to cancel both of us now. Nah, but I never thought she was ugly or fat or anything. I, I thought she was, she was... I mean, she's not intimidating. She's, good, she's a good wrestler. Priestley, good wrestler. 
Everyone in the chat's gonna spam Jamie Hater to try and uh, trigger Dane. Is that what we're gonna do now? She's ripped now. Yeah, she is ripped. She's in. She's she's looking way. She. I mean, not that she look bad at all. Cause pff, she look. She always look bad. But she looks. She looks ripped now. Are you ripped enough to beat me up though? That's a, that's a question. See, I really want to see you and Jamie throw down though, just to see what happens. Yeah, hardcore match, brother. Disrespecting champ, champ like that. No Jamie slander. They the comment section's not having it. Dean. They said no more Jamie slander, and I, I agree with you. No more slander of Jamie Hater here. It's more more slander is gonna happen, bro. I think she's the uh, women's champion right for right now, if I'm correct. Or you got, if she is not, not now, Gaijin. she was. She's not even top Gaijin, bro. Like. All right, guys, it's main event time. Yutami Hayashita versus Micah. This is the one you want to pay attention to. This is going to be a um, the Show bad steer. and the good way match. You know, when people are like, that's bad. Do they mean good? It's like that. That match was... Well, nobody <laughs> says it like that when it's talk about match, though. Because usually when you say a match is bad, you mean bad in a bad way. Bad in a bad way. Bad in a negative way. Bad with the negative connotation. But once again, guys, while I'm here, let me do some plugs real quick. If you're not watching me on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash Tyler Suplex is where I stream at as well for all my Twitch viewers. Then, to my right-hand side, I have my Patreon, patreon.com slash Tyler Mass. That is where my New Japan content is, as well as very much uh, early content for you guys if you have not seen it already. And exclusive content coming soon. We already have some exclusive content up on When's Patreon. Next, hold on. When's the next written review for uh, Story Fire? Oh, I don't know about that one. And right below me is my Twitter handle, at TellingsYT. If it is about Fallbach, I answered it. I put a tweet out. Please don't hit me up about it. I already know. I already know. Please. Please. And then, in the right-hand corner is my secondary YouTube channel, Tyler Mask. Go subscribe there. Me and Dane have a preview up for this show. They did pretty well. Oh, also, that is where I put my Chill Spill podcast and where Matt Based Combat will be premiered at going forward. So... Make sure you go over there, hit the subscribe button, and get ready for that. Hold on, you always say it's not spill. You said it's uh, spill with a silent S, so it's spill. True, I forgot the tagline. Thank you for reminding me. You said that during the little preview thing, too, the bathroom break message thing. Yeah. I was like, hey, I thought that was silent. Apparently not. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get stay on top of that. I, I'm, I'm botching here. I botch too many times. I'm botching it all the time, yeah. Spot your menu over here. Later, guys. Gotta go. You have a good night, Matt Baker. Thank you for coming through, man. Thanks for coming on through. Main event time, baby. Oh, Tommy Hayashishida versus Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shishishishida. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't like your last name because it's, it's, it's too it's too hard to letters. pronounce. Yeah, it's like you're repeating so many letters from there. Hiya shi shita. Shishita, yeah. Yeah, shishita. I know, it's very complex. I just don't like it. You tell me it's such a real one, even when she's even when she's red belt champ, she's always seconds people, sometimes wipe down the ring. Yeah, you tell me is that Tommy's that girl. She's good. She's never been my favorite, <laughs> but she's quality in the ring. She's really like great in the ring, really good. Really exactly, yeah. There. I mean, it's obvious that uh, Ozmi is the leader of the faction, but you know. Homegirl, she sees the champ over there. She's the ace, so, you know, number two. Take down. Head scissor. Ooh, evenly match. She had a really good match with uh, Mayu Watani at the Sendai Cinderella show. And then she had another really good match with Momo, so she keeps this chain going. I think maybe wrestling fans from around the world will start putting Yutami in a conversation of one of the best women's wrestlers today. No, they won't because Amer American wrestling fans are uneducated. You know what, Dane? You're absolutely right. I take that back. 
the uncultured swine will still believe that the best wrestler in the world today is someone like a fucking Britt yeah. Baker or something. I don't know. They'll be like, oh my some god, ho- some white Becky woman Lynch. is They'll the best like wrestler in the world. And Charlotte Flair, the greatest wrestling has to offer. I'm just like, come on, guys. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, Becky Lynch is great. Uh, I like Charlotte; she's good. But come on, <laughs> you sleeping? You, you're wrong. Yeah. They'll wake up someday. Or maybe not. They're Americans. Americans are lazy. Hopefully. hopefully. They'll wake Hopefully they'll wake up. Americans are the worst. If you guys hadn't noticed by now. Oh, armbar applied. Michael, let go. Michael, let go. Dude, America's dope, but like. What? Oh, that shouldn't count. She literally let go for like a millisecond and then reapplied it. That shouldn't count. Referee should count to five. Oh, we, we need to. We need to work on some shit. If that if that did count, that's a smart break though, which it obviously it did because you know. Oh damn! She's found a targeting point. One year ago, future champ, now the world champ. Yeah, one year ago she was facing Arisa in this match. <sighs> in the co event. I remember because um, Utami got busted open by Arisa in that match. I'm. Like, I'll never forget that match mainly because Utami was bleeding the entire time. It's I'm rare sure. in women's women, women's wrestling where you see them bleeding, so. Did you see the person in the chat that said um, that they think Azumi in two years is going to be the world champion? I do. I did. And I, and I totally agree with them. She will. You're the same guy that said Momo was going to be champion by the end of last year. Well, yeah. But they stopped believing in Momo, so that's different. They they obviously believe in Azumi. Well, you stopped believing in Momo, too. I didn't stop believing in Momo. Not exactly. Not entirely. You I want to see her win, them. but at the same time, if she ain't winning, then I ain't going to, you know, be like, oh, well, I need to book her better. Like, no. If she ain't winning, she ain't winning. You don't believe no more. You're not a believer. Momo. I believe in winners like Azumi. And Utami's gonna win this match. I feel like my 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 initial um when TCS died, sadly, my initial uh, stardom faction I went to was stars. And then Tam broke apart from them, so now I'm like, do I want it to be Cosmic Angels? Or do I want it to be Queen's Quest? Cause I like Azumi. I love Azumi. And I like Utami. And I like Momo. And I love Saya. Don't really care much for, uh, what's her name? Rina, or is it Hina? I think it's Hina that's part of, is Hina or Rina part of Queen's Quest? I think it's Hina. I think it's Hina? Yeah. Don't really care much for Hina. But, everybody else in Queen's Quest I like, so. Dude, Rina and Hina. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. They'll get better with time. Yeah. They're not very good. Tyler Little says Hina. Okay, I was right. It, it's Hina. They're, they're trying. They're trying really hard. They're really young. They'll get better. Same with Faruka, even though she's the worst out of the three. But still, they, they'll get better over time. You, you, you're right. But stop. <laughs> Just as long as we see Joan Kiona in Cinderella dress when she returns, I'll be happy. Isn't the Cinderella tournament like usually in like April or something? I don't know if we're gonna see Jungle back in April. If we do, great. But I don't. I don't think since we're gonna see Jungle back that soon. The jungle's not injured, right? She like is that. injured. She has like she had like three injuries. Wait, so she's injured? Injured? Yeah, she had like three injuries. She got surgery for all three of them, so now she's healing. But no, she's injured. That's why she's been gone for so long. Oh, I thought she left after Hana passed away. Well, she did. And then I guess she, I don't know if she got injured when she came back, or she was injured still then, but she came back for that brief period. Remember, that's when TCS broke up, and then Konami turned on her, and then she went back to oh, hiatus. That's, that's I guess, yeah, she did come back for a little bit. Yeah, she had that match with Mayu for the uh, World of Stardom Championship, I think in, what, uh, August or September? Something like that. You get three different injuries. That's fine. Ooh, I don't okay. know. Jungle, yeah. jungle, jungle. Her body was trying to break down on her. 
I am back, back, back to the Tyler Cooper Williams channel. Welcome back, 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 Jacob Archer Koloff. How's it going, man? Am I saying your name right? Last name right? Is it Koloff? I see Ko and then Klo. I feel like I feel like in my head it's Koloff, but let me know how you pronounce it. If I pronounce it correctly, I will be happy because I had no semblance of how to pronounce the name. I just assume it's Koloff. I thought it was like Klo-Klof. It's pronounced co Clough. Mm, damn. co Clough. That's good. I like it. co Clough. Okay. co Clough. co Clough sounded so simple, though. <laughs> co Clough. Okay. The, the wrestler. co -Luff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Wait. You tell me. Mike. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice transition. Jungle's match with Azumi in the five star last year was the best in the tournament. The same match in WWE would have been a squash, but it was awesome. Absolutely. Azumi is the best. She's like a toad. I'm the best! Jungle's in there too. Jungle's good. Jungle's good. Jungle at her best, she's really great. Don't get to see much of it though, because she's always in tag action. It's like Jungle. And Konami, like, together they're awesome, but apart they just lose all the time. Like, I know Konami's a tag champion now, but, like, put her against the IC champion and guarantee she's going to lose. She never wins the IC championship. Well, I mean the uh, Wonder Stardom oh. championship. Mm. Big town, baby. My air just turned on. Hopefully you guys don't hear that loud sound in the background. Dan, do you hear that? Do you hear my air? My no, AC? I don't hear. Okay, good. I was worried you guys heard the AC, because that would bug me if you did. Oh, uh, suplex! Nope, gets out of it. Is it the main event? Yes, this is the main event. How they treat a Konami post TCS is borderline criminal. I mean, it's not too bad, because like I said, she is currently the goddess of stardom champion. But, like I said... Without a faction, Konami loses, like, all the time. Not all the time, but she always loses, like, the I'm main... Still, I'm still mad they broke up Tokyo Cyber Squad. They could have come together, honestly. I think so. I think they should have, like... they Kind of like the Dark... It would have been like them breaking up the Dark Order after, like, Brody Lee died. Exactly. She should have gone straight lot. to the top. Eh. I don't know if I would have shooting her and Konami in that spot. Because I feel like there was definitely a story ready made for Jungle to win the championship rather than Konami. But I definitely could argue that she could have possibly won the Wonder Stardom championship from Julia. But such is stardom, right? Such is stardom. Julia never loses. But yes, Jacob, this is the main event. Yutami Haya Shishida versus Micah for the World of Stardom championship. It's been pretty decent so far. World, 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 world. Did I say wonder? I don't know. You did? Dang. Are you excited to see Yoshiko and Nene in stardom? I can't say I'm too excited only because I'm not familiar with both of them. I know who they are. I definitely know who Yoshiko is, but I'm not familiar with their work. I've seen Nene in the one stardom match, the um, No People Gate show last year, but that's about it i don't know much about them so i, I can't say i'm too excited but like i know everyone hates yoshiga because of the shoot thing but like she's a pretty good wrestler i'm not gonna lie i did hear about this and see the shoot thing that was disgusting yeah but i think other than that like i think she's a good wrestler i don't know if she should have came back to stardom she probably should have stayed away but it would be a shame if they took the top spotlight away from the young prospects. Well, I mean, if if they come in and they start winning championships, then yeah, that's that's dumb. If they're coming in to have a few matches and put over some people, cool. I mean, I don't know how old Yoshiko is, but I'm assuming she's not like in her twenties anymore, right? I think she should. I think honestly, they should just be freelance. They shouldn't be full sign. I mean, they they came back. During the uh, the show, but I haven't seen her since. Like, I, I, has she been on Stardom at all since she came back? I don't watch all the little. I don't shows think she's. I, I don't think. Her. 
I don't think Ben has she been on stardom ever since she challenged Mayu that one day. I don't think I've seen her since then Slaps to the face Mickey 12. What's up, man? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good afternoon Good evening, whatever time of the day it is where you are Tuned in just in time for the main event She's gonna break the arm. She's gonna break the arm Mayu needs time off probs after the Tam match. No one time. I mean, if she's hurt, she shouldn't be wrestling Tam in general. So I would even say just postpone the match. I don't think the match is to happen right now anyway. It seems kind of soon for the match to be happening. If anything, I would just postpone the match. Depends how long she's going to be out, though, because you, you don't want to postpone it too long. Well, I mean, if she's injured, you don't want to potentially further injure her by having to wrestle, though. That's true. It's like with the whole COVID thing. Yeah, you could have you could have done a bunch of matches, the last storylines you wanted to do, but you delayed because fans aren't there. All right, well, it's been nine, ten, twelve months. You're gonna keep on delaying it, like. It's like yeah, I understand you can't delay it forever, but at the same time, if she's hurt, then delay it. As her and Starlight were going for the tag straps. Mayu and Starlight Kid? I'm, I'm not. I'm down for Mayu and Starlight as the goddess of Stardom Tag Team Champions. I'm down for that. But you hate Mayu. I like Starlight Kid. Oh. I like Mayu too. Nice. I like Mayu too. I'm rubbing you. I'm rubbing you. I'm working you, bro. You worked yourself your into a shoot. All your comments got mad at you. You worked yourself into a shoot, rumor. brother. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because of you. Wait, she's going for the Okada neckbreaker? Oh, air retire, mm -hmm. never mind. That she's gonna drop her on her knee like Okada does. That'd have been kinda wild. Oh, I would've loved that. Been a fairly good match so far. Yeah. Nothing too crazy has happened. Rumors that Bullet Club is ending. Bullet Club in New Japan? That's not happening. They're not breaking up Bullet Club. Yeah, why, why the fuck would they end Bullet Club? Then I break it Bullet Club. The Bullet Club is. Bullet Club is like the most popular faction in New Japan. They that would make that would make little to no sense to break up the Bullet Club. Well, it's not even just popular in New Japan. You see people wear Bullet Club shirts all the time. Yeah, like days. most people know what the Bullet Club is without even watching that's like, New that's Japan. That's like breaking up the NWO. I mean, they did do it eventually because it got sale, but like for a long time. People who NWO. don't even watch New Japan know what Bull Club is. I that would be dope. Yeah. Exactly. I don't watch fucking New Japan. I know who Bull Club is. It makes no sense that WrestleMania 36 was supposed to be in Tampa, and they get WrestleMania 37, but then WrestleMania uh, Hollywood gets 39 and not 38. It just it might just come down to logistics and the fact that maybe Tam uh, Arlington, Texas, was always meant to have. 38 that's what it could come down to they could have always had 38 locked in it might be it might be venue issues maybe somebody else has it booked that right as well here. that as well could be the fact that um somebody already has that date for wrestlemania locked in next year at sofi yeah, stadium could be like an nba show or something big like who knows Uh, uh. Cause you, you know those fucking venues choose like NBA and like all that you and um uh, all that shit before wrestling. Yeah. Triangle hold. I hope blinding lights is the theme for WrestleMania 37. I would be opposed to it. I love blinding lights, but they it's a new WrestleMania. I would go for a new theme song. Give us a new weekend song, or give us a childish Gambino song. Childish Gambino featuring the weekend. <laughs> that would be kind of. That'd, that'd be that'd be fire. That'd be fire. That'd be, that'd be a crazy. Collab. I would listen to that album on repeat, on an infinite loop. I would get a copyright strike because I'd be playing that album on my stream without turning it off. And you know how the music industry is about copyright. They don't give a fuck. They're like, we want your fucking money. We want it now. Pretty 
I've been to Joseph before. I'm enjoying it. Have you ever been to WrestleMania? I have not been to a WrestleMania. My plan was to go to WrestleMania last year, but then COVID happened and fucked all that up. I mean, you beat me, though, because I've never been to a pay-per-view. You've never been to a pay-per-view at all? No, not a single pay-per-view. You need to attend one, man. I do. Well, not now, of course, but, you know, soon. Dude, I'll do it tomorrow. Go attend WrestleMania. There's going to be 25,000 fans there. Yeah, and I could be one of them. One of the ones that gets COVID. Hanan's entrance music would slap for WrestleMania. Hanan's entrance music? I don't think I've heard of entrance music. Oh, what if I wear, like, a hazmat suit to WrestleMania? True, true. Like a whole ass. We'll be pissed if Jay White shows up at the Rumble. Jay White is not showing up at the Rumble. He's not. He can't. If his contract ends at the end of the month, then he won't be able to show up until February, not January 31st. I'm going to show up to WrestleMania looking like one of the Among Us characters. (laughs) (laughs) You get COVID and die, and then everyone has an emergency meeting. Like, what do we do? I remember once a Twitter artist got copyrighted for using his own song. That's funny. That is that happens a lot actually. Um, people claim your music is their own and they pocket money a lot of times. Exactly. Mike is getting her up. Wait, what is he going for? Oh, what is this? Oh, nothing apparently. Julia, jerk! Oh my God! God Julia damn! God damn, she landed heavy. She stole to her feet, though. They said we need to get some neck spots. In this. She said, yeah, my you can't man event, so Micah, take her place. God yeah, damn, Micah. that landing, holy mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, that was bad. That's, that's... You taught me Launster, too. She's still going, though. I mean, they're trained crazy in Japan, dude. Like, it's crazy. Apparently, Fernando Torres might be in the Rumble. Fernando Torres, who's that? Fernando. I know, I know uh, Tori Wilson, but not Fernando Torres. Oh, wait, that's our finisher. What? Two. Two. That was definitely three, but all right. Uh, that was definitely three. But okay, we'll keep on going. Tokyo Rockstar says he's in the Rumble match. Really, what number are you? Get. Give us a spoiler. Give us a, a leak. Give us a leak. Yeah. That way I can report on it. Number 30. You don't know who it is. It's, and it's Tokyo Rock. Chris Benoit. <laughs> what? Yokozuna. <laughs> Why Benoit of all people would be number 30? I don't know because it, the storyline about him being dead has been going on way too long. Uh, I wouldn't have it being, I wouldn't have him in a rumble ever, but okay. He is a retired professional football soccer player. He has been bulking up. Well, I've never heard of him. Usually, New Japan tends to, New Japan. Usually, WWE tends to bring in like big names. I have never heard of him. He might be a big name over in another country, but I've never heard of him. Lariat, dude, when WWE buys New Japan, you better not. You better not. You better not speak that to existence, Dane. World Wrestling New Japan Entertainment. Lord. You're number 27? Alright, I'll be waiting for you to your number to come up. He is one of the greatest. Fernando Torres. I don't want... I, I'm sorry, bro. I don't want soccer. I don't want soccer. I'm sorry. I've never heard of him. I bet you if I hit up my friend Josh, he probably wouldn't know who he is. Because Josh loves soccer. He loves FIFA. He'd probably be ashamed of me. Like, how do you not know who Fernando Torres is? Like, I don't want to. What do you want me to say? What's Josh? Stein? Steiny? No, I have another friend named Josh. Like, this is a friend from childhood. When are you going to make Darren watch wrestling again? It's got to happen. Hopefully Darren watches the Rumble with me. Because we usually always watch the Rumble together. Of course him. Of course him. Oh my god, she's passing out. Dude, Mike is new champion. What? No, she's not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's going down. It's going down down for real. It's over, guys. It's going to be over. She's got her. If Rhonda shows up, she's winning. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about Rhonda in in 
I feel like forever, so. Rhonda's been training. She was training with, um, uh, Teal Piper or whatever. I, Roddy Piper well, that's probably it. a bad idea because Teal Piper is not good. Oh, Jesus. That's not nice. She isn't. I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, but she isn't good. She's I mean, new. She's training Why would you train with somebody who's inexperienced? I mean, she's not inexperienced. Yes, she she's, is. She's Teal Piper bad. literally debuted in wrestling last year. It will be two years ago at double or nothing and only had like two matches after that. She is inexperienced. She has a ring. She wrestles all the time. Really? She trains all the time at least. I don't know. She doesn't have like real matches, you know, but. They have announced the wearable type match for Budokan Hall, the return of super strong Starlight Machine. Oh, absolutely. They'll be they in that match. They should kill Piper in fucking the Royal Rumble. They should. I'd, I'd pop for it. I mean, she's, she's right Piper's daughter. I mean, it'd be nice. I feel like this match has been going on forever. <laughs> What's gonna happen when Tessa Blanchard shows up to the Rumble? Is people gonna boo her? Be like, you're racist, boo. <laughs> yeah, I would. I feel like this is definitely a New Japan pace match. Because this is definitely long. Also, that blue mist is all over the body now. Oh! One, two. Oh, kicks out of the torture rack bomb. I'm not in the Rumble. Everybody on Twitter declare for the Rumble. Yeah, I should declare I'm in the Rumble, too. I got the pre-show of the Rumble. Yeah, I'm on the pre-show, too. She's going for the three rings powerbomb? Three rings powerbomb? Oh, no, she's going for, uh... Oh, shit! It's over. One, two... Three, you Tommy retains. God uh, damn that, that landing! Um, Holy shit! No, nah, but that was pretty good. Like, she could have got a whiplash from that thing. That was good. I like the finish. That was good. That was yeah, good. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's a little longer than it needed to be, but it was still good. I might rewatch. I might rewatch. So is that thing they spray on him? Is that like a cooler? Is it? Does that like cool them off? I have no idea. I don't know anything about that. Because I always see it in Japanese wrestling. They always spray it on them after they Like, immediately at the match is over, they give them water and they spray that on them. Is it... Does anyone know what's in that? Is it just water? Is it a certain type of spray? Like, what's in it? No, yeah. I'm assuming it's, like, cold air. Oh, like, you know, like, the canned air that you spray into your computer? Well, not that canned air, because you don't want them to get hypothermia. But, yeah not that cold yeah it is if you spray directly onto yourself shake the bio spray directly yes yeah, you're gonna get hypothermia you're gonna lose a finger no i'm saying so you think what's in that is not as cold as oh uh, of course because if they spray it on them and it was that cold they would die so no it's not that cold Dude, they can't die they're starting wrestling all right buddy do tommy stands tall bow down to the princess because the queen will always be Azumi. Dude, almost everyone in stardom is a legend. And you know what they say about legends? Legends never die. So, legends, they, they stay, they stay, they stay winning. They stay, they stay alive. <laughs> staying alive, staying alive. You, Tommy, wins 24 minutes. Okay, 24 minutes. That's, that definitely was, sounds like the right length of the match. 24 minutes. Oh, Kogan had it wrong. The land of the immortals is stardom. True. Uh-oh, who's a challenger? My second defense was successful. Yeah. I bet you it's going to be fucking Julia. No one's stardom. You're really strong oh. and tough. But not <laughs> tough make, enough. They're going to make Julia double champ? <laughs> Julia 2. I would probably stop watching if we saw Julia 2 belts. Come on. It's still stardom. Not my stardom. Felt like a prelude show, weirdly. Like I said, I thought it was a 
it was a decent show. I felt like the last two shows I saw were definitely better than this one, but I, I, it was, the last show was great. Yeah, that was a great show. This one, it was, it was, it was really good. I'll probably talk about it in my review later on. The Sako Dream shit, that shit was banger. Exactly. The red belt value is rising. I want my next opponent on March 3rd at Nippon Budokan. Budokan Hall. Budokan. Booty Con Hall. <laughs> Jamie Hader's coming back. Oh. Of course, in the main event, I'll protect this belt and continue as Stardom's future. Who's the next challenger? I must know who the next challenger is. You can't be Stardom's future. You're not even holding the future belt. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Stardom's current. Saya? Oh. Saya, Saya? Saya's gonna challenge her? Yes, I'm here for this. She's not winning it, but I'm here for this. That's a big show, too. They're gonna be in Budokan. That's gonna be main evented by Saya and, and Yutami. Why'd they have her announce who she was when she came in the ring? She's like, I am Saya. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe there's new viewers. I don't blame them for doing that. I mean, she was in the previous match. Like, what is someone just watching this match? Maybe. Some some people only use cherry pick. Some people cherry pick. I mean, I guess. I'll get the okay. three count on you, Tommy. Sign a new poem, Booty Con, Booty Con Hall. That Phoenix Splash is awesome. I think it's an amazing technique. Amazing. <laughs> What, do you think you can compete with only that? I'm not even sure I want to fight you for my red belt. Ooh. Detention. Chicken shit. She's like, Chicken I want to fight the real woman. I want to fight Ozzy. I want to fight the other side. The other side. I want to I want to fight. I want to fight Saya. Saya Ida! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm actually pretty hyped for for the ten. The um, that card is looking lit already. Natsu Poi and Goddamn Azumi, and then you have Sayaka Matani versus Utami. Like those two matches alone is worth a watch. Time limit. What they should do, they should just push this Mayu Tam match all the way to this show. But. Ooh, I will create Stardom Future. I am the future of Stardom Champion. No, she isn't. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> she got herself confused the other side. Wait, are you going to review this show? I plan to review this show. Yes. It's Friday, so I might just do the review on my Chill Pill podcast, which is going to be on Wednesday on the YouTube and Tuesday on my Patreon, patreon.com slash TylerMask. I might do an individual review, but if not, it will be as it will be as part of the Chill Spell podcast. Yes, it's silent, by the way. Yeah, silent. Silent, like I want Tyler to be right now. Ooh. Shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. Just joshing. Oh, it's awesome. I'm here for it. This was fun. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in, Ben Grimshaw. I appreciate you for coming through, man. Make sure you hit the like button. All of you watching at home, make sure you hit the like button. Yeah. It helps the algorithm out when you do. If if he gets enough likes, he'll watch Stardom again. <laughs> again, again, again. That's not true. He did that for Raw though, and dude, I made sure that he got fifty likes. I I, I hit up people, I was like, yo, you gotta like this, so he watches Raw again. <laughs> Corny. I was one of those assholes. Should've known. Bow down to the queen. After it's Ollie, I miss his ta uh, Todrick. I'd get everybody to like the video. You wanted to torture me. Should have known. So we, gotta, we gotta get this man to watch Raw. He's a big Raw mark. No, I'm not. Dude, I don't know how you could watch Raw. I. 
I honestly struggled to watch Raw, but hey, you taught me how Shishida, still your world of stardom champion. She stands tall. Yeah, she got the little trophy again to give everyone the trophy. Is there anything else at the end of the show? I think this is the end of the show. Let's see. Yeah, that's the end of the show. Alright, Dane. What did you think about this show? I'll save my, I'll reserve my opinions for my, uh, So good up until this point, but no, my microphone went out. Tell us, what did you think about this show? Um, I don't want to trash it too hard because it really wasn't terrible. It wasn't unwatchable. It was, uh, it was just. I think it's 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 another one of those shows where Stardom does a show, and you're just like, there are better shows you did like even just like last month or the month before so it's like what what are you doing now like what what's going on is it is there trouble in the office today is this, is it <laughs> looks I thought this like there's trouble like in paradise Let me stop. i thought okay so i thought this was going to be a big show and then when i watched it i didn't feel like i watched a big show i feel like i watched a like a glorified uh oh, shit. you know like house show or like a glorified like kind of like ooh look it's a filler episode you thought you felt like this is a filler episode really kind not of, even was... not even like a summer slam or a, or a, or a survivor series you thought it was like backlash I thought, it... <laughs> I thought it was like yeah i thought it was like no mercy or something <laughs> jesus it's like it wasn't it wasn't terrible. There were some good matches. I mean, there's some shit that I think that you like if you watch the show. But I feel like if you're introducing a new Stardom fan, you go to Osaka Dream, baby. Yeah, or the Sendai show. The Sendai show was really good as well. The Sendai show was really good as well. I, I, I just love the fucking Osaka Dream show. That show slapped so hard. Yeah, it did. I would did. watch that ten times over. But Title changes would have helped. Uh I agree to an yeah. extent. I mean, it depends on who you're talking about exactly. If we talk about the world title, I would disagree. I would not have Micah no, beat no, Julia no. for I mean, beat um, you Tommy for it. You have Tora win you exactly. Tora I would have personally not minded Tora beating Julia. Exactly. I still think the fact that Julia took all those bumps and still won just I don't get it. I you literally have, don't get it. You have Tora win because Tora is not Tora is weird. She's like not the like like I said before, she don't fit into Sardom. She'd be an interesting champion, maybe an experiment, you know, like seeing like testing, the, being like, hey, you know, maybe. I mean, even just for the shock fact that they could just put the title back on Julia, like at the next show. Some, some Jinder Mahal stuff going on here. <laughs> 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 fucking fucking Natsuko Mahal. The, the well, she's already Natsuko Toriano, so she can't be Natsuko Mahal too. But I get it. Yeah. I get it. You know, she could, she could, yeah, title changes. I thought there should have been something. Um, I thought there should have been some surprises, you know? I want, I wanted some Vince Russo swerves, boy. Yeah, Maybe I will say, that. I think this show did lack a little bit. I will admit that. I didn't think it was particularly bad, but I'll reserve my, I reserve did my I, rest of my thoughts for my review. <laughs> did I get every, did I get everyone right? You did everything right. You got everything right. I think Me and Dane did a prediction video, and the only thing we disagreed on was the tag match, and his tag team won, which is Momo and Saya. So he technically got predicted the whole outcome of the card. I Look at you, it. Dane, you little smark. <laughs> I did say every, dude. I I found the booking. I know. I I just guessed, but I wish split personality probably, bro. What personality should I have next, bro? Comment and <laughs> comment. He'll be like uh, Mick Foley or uh, or Alexa smart. Bliss or the feed. Be a smart. Oh, all right. Like, well, you know, Dave Meltzer has never gotten anything wrong in his life. I think Okada and Omega are the greatest. So you agree that anything. Will Ospreay is the second coming of Eddie Guerrero? Well, it, I would argue that Will Ospreay might be the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Well, that was the show. Uh, thank you all for coming through. This was our first stardom stream of the year. Uh, I think it was a pretty good turn. I might do some more of these in the future. Hit the like button, and if it does well, we'll do more of these going forward. 
I would love to do a stream for the uh, All Star Dream Cinderella show. So smash that like button if it does really well. We should do a stream for that show. Hit the like. Hit the like. Otherwise, I do review Stardom on the Chill Pill Podcast and outside of that on this channel. I don't review every single show. If the show has a big match, then I'll review it. If not, other than that, I enjoyed the show uh, for the most part. And we're going to tune out on that. Thank you all for tuning into this stream. I'm about to head up out of here. I got to go work in two and a half hours. So I'm about to get ready to go to work. That being said, I love you all as always. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace out, guys. I just dislike the video.